Yo, Carrot Attack Podcast, myself, Daps. No Spence, but Lamin. Lamin's here. Um, guys, keep <laughs> liking, subscribing, sharing, and all of that good stuff. Um, oh, yeah, we got open up, open up. Yeah. We've got Denzel in the building. I should probably think she's locked up, but. But um, yeah, keep liking, subscribing, sharing, all of that good stuff. Um, and he's gone. We've had some good, <laughs> some good feedback recently. We've had the article written about the Bradley Johnson stuff. And um, yeah, those watching on online or we watch this on YouTube, I just randomly see <laughs> someone just walk across there. Yeah. Seeing dogs just <laughs> up in here because we, we got a guest and he, he brought his dog along. Jeez. Man like Dens. <laughs> but um, yeah, who have we got today? Yeah, so yeah, thanks for having me. So, are, are, you, yeah. are you nervous? No, I'm gonna say, come on. I didn't know what was going on. In that. Yeah, no. so, yeah, so, yeah. Cyrus Christie, Fulham FC, Big up. Republic of Ireland. So yeah, like I said, thanks for having me. No, nah, sorry. Right, finally man. made it. Finally made it. Finally made it. I'm just happy to get you on, but yeah, happy that Cookie um, hooked it up. Yeah, sure, Cookie. He's lively, you know. Ah, oh, <laughs> bloody hell, Cookie. Oh, he's funny, man. He's good to have around. Cookie's a flipping character, mate. How do you know him? Um, football through football, yeah, yeah, football. So, um, yeah, you know, you just know people through, yeah. through football, and um, and then I do this thing, um, this All Star Weekend thing as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see that, yeah, yeah. And we had Cookie play last. last That's when we he scored from the halfway line. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't I mean seen that. that. He, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't. But you know what? I say I get onto him all the time, say he didn't mean it, but yeah. he does that for fun. Yeah, he, he does it for fun. Yeah. So we got it again this year. Yeah, I think Cookie's captain, but he don't know that yet. Is he? Yeah, but he knows it now. He knows it now. Yeah, he knows it now. He knows it now. I don't want to tell him that he'd be too gassed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because after they won, his team won. Literally for like a month or so, he couldn't couldn't Gosh, shut him up. Dico played it as well, no? Yeah, yeah, Dico, yeah Dico's two, been on yeah, the pod. They, they, I didn't see them, them two kept posting about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they didn't let it rest. Yeah, so Dico's been on the pod. I was chatting to Dico this morning, actually. He's, um, yeah. he just notched again yesterday. Yeah. But it's too easy for him at this level, man. It's, yeah. He's in, he's in the same league as, like, me now. And yeah, I suppose, though, he's working as well, and he's such... Yeah, it's, it's he's, easy for him. He's having a jolly up there. Yeah. Yeah, he said he wants 30 goals by the end of the season. What's he on now? 22. <laughs> 22. Yeah, should play that, man. Yeah, and he gave away... Someone was meant to have a pen. No, they had a pen yesterday. He gave it to one of his teammates to score. Yeah. And then um teammate missed. No way. Yeah. That's not like him as well. Yeah, no, no, no way. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, how are you, man? Yeah, I'm good, man. That's obviously... Put that a bit closer just in yeah. case. No, I'm good, man. Just chilling, training, working hard. Mm, a lot yeah, of games in the championship. Yeah, we trained today. So, yeah, it was, Wednesday's always tough. Mm. It's a tough day. And then we... We tailor it down, obviously, for the weekend. So tomorrow is more like tactical stuff, but yeah. Mm. Today, when you say, like, it's, it's the hard one, yeah. is it like, um, like running? Or? Not even running, like, it's running in, obviously, the session. Like, yesterday we ran, like, Tuesday. Tuesday's tough, and then Wednesday's even tougher. Mm. But, like, today was just, like, transition possessions. So you just got to sprint and try to get the ball oh, out as quick yeah. as possible, yeah. Yeah. Like, constantly, you know, like, when you start getting popped around, it's, it's yeah. not nice, like... And then, yeah, like, 2v2s, 5v5s, like, big pitches as well. Yeah. So you're covering a lot of ground, but, you know, we've got a finger, so you do the 2v2s, but the keeper, you have to press the keeper. Mm. So you can't, like... You can't if they pass it to the keeper, yeah, yeah, you, can't you can't even can't sit just, off. Yeah. yeah, you've got to press the keeper, so... And then once the keeper pops it around you, then you know you've got a, a big recovery back. So it's just, yeah, getting the fitness in, like, really getting our legs going. Obviously, our sports scientist likes to to make sure we've covered a certain amount of ground. Yeah. Especially with, like, when the midweekers are coming up, because you can't, you obviously can't get that working. So, yeah. Like, yeah, like we said, tomorrow, just we tailor it down and do the tactical stuff ready for the weekend. But how does it help in regards to when you come against the team like City, like, the other week? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean... <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. You know what's mad? It's like obviously in a champ, like when you play prem teams, mm. it's like you they always seem so much better. But then like you know, like last year when we played them in the prem, it like it yeah. just felt a bit easier. Yeah. And I don't yeah. understand why. It's not like we've got too many different players missing from, mm. from that game. I'd, it started, but, right? Okay, cool. Do you think it's just because of anxiety and just be more relaxed? Obviously, nah, you know, do you know what more... to be fair, like we I thought we start we we were playing all right. We actually popped it around a bit, but I mean, obviously the penalty, I've seen them sending off, obviously it was, yeah, you see that, was, that, yeah. was, that was hurtful, you know, to obviously six minutes in, you, six minutes it's the last in. thing you need against yeah, City. It's the but, last thing you need. To but yeah, to be fair to us, we, we just went there to play, like the manager was like, just play our game. And we actually started, we were passing it around and, you know, we had quite a decent bit of possession, especially for 10 men, but 
yeah, it was, it was a mammoth of a task. Yeah. Yeah, but out of 10 anyway, it was, it was like, it's hard yeah. enough with 11 on, yeah, but trust me. you know, you just can't get near them. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. You think you're going to get there, you set a trap and then you press them. He pops it off one time. Then the next minute they turn on the half turn, it's like you tackle them and they're falling over. Somehow the ball stays at their feet. Crazy. Yeah. And they're back up like within would a matter you, of seconds. Who would you say from that match? But obviously they're all quality players, but who really impressed you in that match? Like David Silva, you can't get near him. Like, so yeah. The way he was turning on the ball, like half turning, and I think it's like they chop you, and then somehow it's a massive chop, but their leg on the <laughs> other side comes back, and they chop it again. And it's just, it's crazy. And then you're threading the balls through, like they're not even looking. Like they, you think they're playing it one side, but they're mm. threading it the other way. Like it's crazy what they do. Like just through the, they know what they're doing. Like every single yeah. one of them, just like, drilled. Yeah, but it's crazy. I was speaking to Michael Richards after, and he said like they don't really work on no like attacking play. Is Everything it? is just possession and running, like, oh, and, like their transitions, yeah, and like pressing and stuff. Like when he said that he's watched the training, that's all he's ever seen. So I was a bit, a bit shocked, mm. like the way they play. But it's just obviously everyone's on the same wavelength. So, no, it's crazy. But you you, you also played against them in, in the prem. Yeah, so we played them in the prem. Yeah. Did you find it obviously your teammate the same yeah. as the prem? But were you still kind of surprised by the quality? Or... Yeah, when you're in the prem, like I think. We obviously had a lot more possession when we was in the Prem mm. against them. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, at any point they can kill you. Like if you're not, if you're not on it for the full 90 minutes, yeah, any mistake, they're just going to punish you. It's just, yeah, you're just hoping for that bit of luck to like, hopefully that they might miss or, yeah, you know, someone might slip and you might break through. And I think like there's, there was times where we could have like, obviously if we had 11 men, we would have, I think we would have got at their back line and, mm. and had a couple of shots. But, you had a couple of times when you got Yeah. There. I remember a couple of times yeah, the first half. We, yeah. As well. But then with the, when we got like with the 10 men, like we were getting up there and the lads were so tired as well from mm. pressing because they tire you out the way they move it. One yeah. touch and then you've got to get back into shape. What's if you that? don't get back, you know that they're just going to put it in behind you. And yeah. Does it actually goal, feel so. like that when you're playing? So you yeah. actually know they could hurt you yeah. any second. Yeah. Like, when you're in like obviously in the champ and stuff, you're knowing that you can take a bit more liberties. Yeah. With like the space to get out to the thingy because the players aren't as the higher quality. Yeah. To like thread the ball through, but you just know with City there's like that little tiny gap that you leave open. Just, just that, finding it. Just yeah. literally that. And they're like the, they're so quick off the mark. Like, yeah. As soon as you blink, like the guys running behind. So they're razor sharp yeah, as well. They're, yeah, they're sharp. Like they know what they're doing. <laughs> that must be such a like head loss. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking because that. you prepare. How, how long was preparation for this game though? Honestly, a week. Yeah, when did we play them? We played them on the Sunday, so yeah. Obviously, we trained all week for them. Like the manager, obviously named the team quite early, so yeah, like we started from yeah. Like usually, he doesn't name it till like the Friday, maybe. But yeah, like you just yeah, we he named the team straight away. Like we were working on it. Mm. So and then yeah, you prep for the whole week. You've got your game plan. Yeah, which mm-hmm. is probably something along the lines of make ourselves hard to beat. Stay in the game. If we can nick a chance to the other side, yeah, blah blah, cool. Six minutes. In. <laughs> yeah. What's going through your head when did you know straight away? Oh, he's off. You know what? Like it happened that quick. I didn't even see it, so I didn't yeah. actually know what he'd done. I just seen that Jesus was on the other side of him. He's, yeah. He's falling over, and I was like, oh. And then you're looking at the ref, but I because I didn't know what was going on, and then obviously the ref pulled the red and gave the penalty. Man. Because obviously we were kind of saying we don't know if he meant it or not. So yeah. Obviously, I think there's a new rule, isn't it? Like if you don't mean it, it's only a yellow. I thought that because you get another chance, so we were kind of like, yeah. oh, everyone was a bit surprised that he got given a red. So. I thought it was like this double jeopardy rule. Yeah, where if you're last man and give yeah. a penalty, you can't send. Yeah, you but off apparently as well. it's to do with intent. Apparently, so if you do it on purpose, oh mm. serious. So if you don't, yeah, your intention has to be to play the ball. So mm-hmm. I think the ref was saying that he didn't play the he ball, didn't, so uh... that's why he had to send him off. But yeah, when that happens, you just, just killed the game. One right? goes in, and the second one goes in. You're just thinking this could be a long, that's... long game. But half time comes, yeah, in and you look great. You look great in the yeah. Room, yeah. Do you look at him? <laughs> nah, you know what to be fair. Like, it you happens, doing? don't it? Do you know what I mean? Like people get sent off and you make a mistake. Like, but there's nothing, nothing he could do about that. But yeah, like you know what to be fair. The lads were like, okay. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. we thought that we were actually playing all right. Obviously, we were gutted that obviously we had ten men, but because we felt like we prepared right, we were playing all right. Like we didn't go there to bank up, and yeah. we thought we we're gonna go there and have a go. Do have you know what I mean? Go, like, right. There's no point us going there and sitting there as a back four and banking up as. Mm. Because you know that they're still going to hurt you either way. So yeah. if you have a go and press them, like, you know there's opportunities where we were watching it and they, we could get the ball back. And But like we said, it just didn't, didn't quite happen. But yeah. like, the lads took confidence from the game, to be fair. Well, we thought like, we played some decent. nice pieces of football. So That's decent, man. And you had a yeah. day out of, Well, you've been to it. You've been yeah, we've been there before. before yeah. yeah, so yeah, we seem to get them a lot in the cup. Like, we had them last year in the cup as well, in the Carabao. Mm. 
We've got them again this year in the FA Cup. So, yeah. In there. Watch your free it, time. Well, well, well. I was just going to say, how does it compare to playing at Craven Cottage? It's, yeah, it's different to be fair. Like, I've played at Craven Cottage. Craven Cottage, What's obviously, like, atmosphere is yeah, atmosphere's a bit better. Like, obviously, with Man City, it's like, obviously, they've got a lot of tourism, haven't they? Yeah. So, you know, like, the atmosphere is not amazing. <laughs> So right. what, like the but stadium, you, stadium's unbelievable. Do you feel yeah, the Craven size Cottage. of the stadium? Yeah, 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 yeah. you do, yeah. And obviously the pitch size as well. Is, yeah, I was going to ask. It's massive. The pitch yeah, like big. Craven Cottage is small, so yeah. Mm. But obviously the fans are on top of you, like with Craven Cottage. Um, so yeah, it's obviously it's a big difference. Like, like Craven Cottage, you go there, Etihad, it's a massive pitch. You know that they're going to have time, but the Craven Cottage, you know that like you can pop it around a bit, you can play and get tight bit. to people as well. Yeah, mm. you're not running as much, so. But yeah, like it's, it's obviously a big difference. I think that does play a part. Like you, like we went to Millwall last year. No, not last year. The year before, in their promotion season, it was a sellout. Like, mm. and that was crazy. Like, at the den, one of the best atmospheres ever. I've, at the den, yeah. Like they sold it out because they were pushing for promotion. Pushing. We played them at the time where we were, they were like 19, 18 games unbeaten, and we were yeah. like seventeen or something. Yeah. So they were like still pushing for promotion. They were in and around the playoffs. And they thought they were going to do it. And then we, I think we won two or three nil. I think it, I can't remember that game. So but yeah, their that. fans were like on you and you're getting it on the bench as well. Like, yeah. They, but the, the atmosphere they created. Mill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, if you, <laughs> that's the one, that's the shout. But you know, t- some people are going to go there and sink. Like, I mm. remember, I think it was at Derby when, before I got there, when the lads was, I think he was getting, he used to be there mm. and they were throwing bottles at him. Like, and he refused to take the throw and he, he got subbed in the end. Serious? Yeah. Like, you can, People can go there and they can they can sink, man. Because yeah, if no, their no. atmosphere is like that, they're, obviously isn't it? they're crazy. Yeah, yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they don't care, man. And yeah. I could just imagine one of them even run on the pitch. Yeah, I'm not on it. I'm not. Yeah, on it's it, your no, neighbours, is it? Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like when they when I was still. he was when I was 18, we played and there was a few like young lads in the team, and the manager just turned around to us like we were meant to be playing. He was like, you know what, I'm not starting none of you tonight. Ooh, oh really? Like as soon as we got off the bus when we got yeah. there, we were just getting abused, all sorts like. <laughs> I was thinking it's probably worse to sit on the bench because yeah, they're just, yeah, they're they like just on got a target there. Yeah. Really. yeah, but it was, yeah. You've been um, first team, a player for, for a while. A while now, man. Yeah. Like, coming like, what's his now? It must be 10 years. 17, I was, yeah, when I made my debut, yeah. yeah. It must be 10 years. No, 28 yeah, this year. I'm coming on 10, 10 seasons now, yeah. I think this was oh. my ninth this year. What was it like at, um, coming through at Coventry and then making your way? And then when you when you left for Coventry, was it always a thing? Where I mean, when you left Coventry, so was it always a thing that was going to happen? Like you just you just knew it, your time was coming. No, so. not really. Like obviously, I come all the way through, but obviously at the time, Coventry just had so many issues off the field. Mm. Like you know, like obviously the whole chairman stuff. We were playing in Northampton at one point. Mm. Like there was, there was so many money issues, and it was just it was just crazy. And then like you know what? Like to be fair, like I, obviously. You come in and at Coventry was you sign your scholarship and then you get your first year pro and it's yeah. and then it's if you start five games you get a new like reno- renegotiation so they like that's yeah. your incentive as a young boy yeah but then like I think I played like ten on the bounce and I've still not heard nothing no conversations like, but I'm not really like too fast because obviously I'm playing week in week out like yeah. it's my boyhood club and stuff but I just found it mad that they offered other people the contracts so I was a mm. bit like oh this is crazy so then they eventually offered it and then. I, it was mad I just felt a bit disrespected because at the time obviously I was playing week in week out and I was doing well they offered the guy that was in my youth team the goalkeeper mm. we didn't I don't think he made his debut till f- two or three seasons after like yeah. a left or whatever they offered me like the same kind of deal oh, and right. I was like oh, surely that can't run and then like yeah. they kind of tried to bully me into it a bit to be fair but I was a bit more like I wasn't switching I wasn't asking for like a lot mm. more I was just thinking like surely give me something I deserve innit? Yeah, yeah like in in respect to like my age as well. Yeah. Like, I wasn't gonna I wasn't going in there asking to be in the same as the top earner, but yeah, yeah. Like you can't really offer the same deal as someone that has not played and he's not even on the bench. Like yeah. so yeah, like commentary, the way they just run it was like a bit mad. Like they just they had the young boys and I think they thought like they maybe could bully him a bit. Yeah, take the piss. And then yeah, so but then obviously end of the season I got injured that year and they told me I was gonna be out for just over a year. I come back in nine months, so so that was a bit of a killer towards the end of the season. I played like 40, I think I played 40, 44 games that year mm. in my first, a lot of games first year. Season, yeah. Yeah. But the way I just done my knee was just, it was, yeah, it was killer. It but killed when, me. When you get, um, so when things like that are happening, yeah. do you, not you, but would you instruct someone to kind of put feelers out to see, okay, look, they're not offering me what I, what I deserve. Yeah, what happens? Yeah. What else is out there for me? 
Yeah, yeah like obviously your agent will do that kind of stuff, but you already know, like, he knows that teams are approaching. So, like, mm. teams aren't silly. They obviously have all their databases and they see when people's contracts are done. Like, my mm. contract was done at the end of that season. Yeah. So, I get to January, I can sign a, re, um, a pre-contract. Pre-contract with someone. I think the rules might have changed a bit with that now, but, yeah, obviously then it comes down to that, um, the uh, tribunal and stuff like that. But, mm. like, my intention wasn't to leave. Like, I was playing week in, work out. I wasn't stupid. Like, I knew, do you know what I mean? I could go somewhere and it might not work out. And, you know, Gail left that year. Like he he played, made his debut the same day as me. And like now, I'm not, not sure where, I think it last thing I seen he was on loan at like Solihull Moors. Who? Gail Bigger Romano. Do you remember him? He went to Newcastle. So they had him down, obviously, as like the next, yeah, Cheek Tioe, obviously RIP. But yeah, he went to Newcastle. He played the same amount of games, not even the same amount of games as me. Like, yeah, he played just a few less, but he come in, made his debut the same time as me. He went to Newcastle, a five-year deal. Big move. Yeah, and it just never worked out. Like, Didn't and obviously, happen. I thought it was maybe a, it was too soon for him, but I could understand why he left because the way the manager kind of treated him was a bit bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, he got he got sent off in a game, and and the manager just blamed him. Like it wasn't his fault. <laughs> like, he was a young boy. Like yeah. he was enthusiastic. Mm. Like he got sent off, and then we ended up. Lo- I think we lost the game when we drew. Like and he come out in the media and batted him, and he's a seventeen year old. Like and his confidence just went. He sent it back down to the youth team. What's your views on managers coming out and calling players out in the media? Like, I can understand. I think you have to pick and choose who you can do it with. Because some people can't take it. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone, not everyone's the same. Like, mm. but Because Lemmy thinks it's bad. Yeah. Yeah, I do think it's bad. I, I think yeah. there should be better man management, man. Yeah, like, I, I think sometimes they, I think, is it Wilder had done it? he come out and hammered someone, didn't he? But it turned mm. out that he'd already said something in the changing room yeah. and told them he'd that he'd already done it already. Yeah. So if, I think if you get the heads up, like, you're, you're kind of mm. cool. If the manager gives you an explanation as to why he's done it, but if they leave you in the dark, then... Yeah. Can you remember yeah. when Mourinho did it with um, Luke Shaw? Shaw. Oh, a couple of seasons ago. Oh, yeah, he did it a couple probably, seasons yeah. ago. He, he called him up. We had a big thing about that. Because Lemon thought that was... Well, the but, thing is, you know, you, you know what it is? Yeah. I think Mourinho is known to do that. Like, we, uh, yeah, yeah, he we, is. But my point to these lot is, is that that doesn't make it right. Though. Yeah, he course, might, yeah, It might yeah. be your trait. It might be what yeah. you do. But he, like you're saying, you've got to know who to do it to, who not yeah, to do it yeah, to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, so, 100%. I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big believer that a manager, you've got to have emotional intelligence, man. Yeah. You've, got, you've, you've got to know... Like everyone always says in football, you got to know yeah. you put your arm around, you got to yeah, know who you kind of yeah. rip into or whatever. But yeah. I just think Mourinho, he f- it seems like he's changed a little bit since he's come to Tottenham. Yeah. It seems like he's... Ah, it's an act, man. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> Next season, it'll be on his madness, it? fool you, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's no, an act, man. No, I understand what you're saying, yeah. Like, But when he obviously done that to Gale, it was just... Mm. I can kind of see why he left in the end. Like, I think he, he'll look back at it now and think maybe he shouldn't have left at the time. But he went there and played 24 games his first mm. season. Scored mm-hmm. in the Europa League, I think. No, he scored on his debut in the Prem, and then scored in like I think he scored in Europa League, played Europa League and stuff. But he must still be young then. He could be. be he's the younger than me, so yeah. twenty six. Yeah, twenty six, twenty seven. So I know he. He just literally he's been around. He went back to. He went to Rangers. He was like, he got hepatitis B or C or one of one of them too oh, from but Rangers. When he was up there, yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> but when he was up there, you can't play in Scotland with it, but yeah. in England you can. So. But then he didn't come back. And I didn't then, even. This is all. This yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that till I was speaking to him, and I was like, he was like, yeah, like, and I was like, do you not just think to go back to New? He's like, no, nah, I'm just gonna stay here. And but like, he was mad. At, you know, he's proper into God. Like, mm. so it was like, this is my godly duty to stay and stuff like that. And which, fair enough, that's his. <laughs> that's the way he sees it. But I wouldn't agree with it. But yeah, it was just he went mother well. He went back to Coventry. And mm. Just oh, it was crazy for him. And like, I feel sorry because he was unbelievable. Like the yeah. talent he had. Like, you know, our youth team, he was probably the most talented. Like, mm. Some of the stuff he was doing, the skills, like, but his story was unbelievable, you know. Like, he'd yeah. come from Burundi. Like, he fled Burundi and then come and then just... He just knocked on the door at trial for a trial and he just said he's better than everyone. Couldn't speak a word of English, but he knew how to say that. <laughs> to sound better. Yeah, <laughs> like, he, he backed it up. Like, he yeah. come in and, you know, like, he just come in and he come in fresh, like, fresh from, like, over the overseas and he come in two foot in everyone. Yeah. Just smashing people. He had, no, he did not care one that bit. Carl like, about him. You know what, that. like, you could just respect it. And obviously they're telling him, like, calm down. Yeah. He come, like, with his waterproof jacket on, sweating, like, he just, <laughs> boom, smashing <laughs> everyone, like, just like, yeah, you know what, like, respect. And then he made it, his confidence and some of the skills he could do. Mm. And then, yeah, like, over the years, like, he was obviously the next best thing. Mm. And then, yeah, it just didn't work out for him, but it's, it's obviously sad to see that. Yeah. Especially when it's not like he had a bad attitude or like he he dedicated his his life to the game, so yeah. Hopefully he can come back from that. But yeah, like managers, as you say, when you're young, 
Like that manager at the time, like he's, he done some mad things to me as well, like ringing me up at, at night and just hammering me. All because I asked for my stats. I just wanted to know was my stats and, yeah. and he hammered me for being in there asking for stats like saying well where are you trying to move to where are you trying to leave <laughs> that was how he spun it but it was just I wanted to like I used to just like I used to you know compare my stats like yeah. to other people to see what I'm doing and what I could do better and yeah like pff, that phone call I'm not going to repeat what he was saying on that phone call but it was it was crazy I ended up putting the phone down on him oh, wow. like, he was, was that like was, that's the, the Coventry manager right? yeah manager. when I was in my first season it was did, just, he, did yeah. he get a good reaction out of you do you know what to be fair, like, stuff like that didn't bother me. Like, I wasn't really arsed. Like, yeah. I was a bit of a hothead like, back then as well. Like, I wasn't as calm, but I was just like, you know when you're young and like, you've got that sense mm -hmm. where you just like, you don't really care what people say sometimes. Like, I'd argue with like first team boys, like, but I wouldn't, I wasn't hesitating to pull them out. Like, yeah. I felt like I was... You belonged. I belonged, yeah. yeah. Like, so it wasn't like I was one or two games in, like, I was playing well. Yeah. I, was, I was doing well. You were part of the success. Like, I felt, yeah, like, people could respect me, <clears> like, but you know, like I just weren't having it when people try like mug off the young boys. Like I'm not, yeah. I'm not here to just take it. Mm. So like, but yeah, there was. I find that defenders, defensive, defensive minded people don't, they don't give a shit. Yeah. I find that attackers are different, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. You know, I see you as an attacker in it. Who me? Yeah. yeah, I used to be an attacker. Yeah, but I see you as an attacker. So when I, it's still yeah. weird. And even though right back yeah. is what you what you play now regularly. Yeah. I still see you as... It's not really a defensive position anymore, is it? No, you got to obviously get up and down. You've got, you got to be I mean? able yeah. to, do, to do a bit yeah. of fun. Yeah, I know, but I still look at you like a, like a right, right winger. Yeah. I was mad even like yesterday I had a QA and a and the woman called me a winger and I was like, oh, we won't push it that far. Like, <laughs> it's been a long time since that, but yeah, like, yeah, I don't really... It's crazy, yeah. Who made the switch for you? Or when, when did the switch come? The switch come... Youth team. Oh, sorry. Like, around then, yeah, like, so... Obviously, I was a striker all the way through, like striker, right wing. I was centre mid for a couple of seasons, but I was always top scorer. And then Steve Grizovic at the time was like, Agrizovic. you know, when like you're okay. younger than like you're what sitting. What name? Agrizovic. Yeah. I remember him, yeah. Is he a goalkeeper? The goalie. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, You know, like when you're younger, you play the four quarters, don't you? Or the, yeah, the yeah. three thirds or whatever. And then like everyone's on the bench. So everyone plays an equal amount. But mm. someone went down injured. They were like, oh, do you want to go centre half? And you're like, young, yeah. I just want to play. Like, yeah. And they put me at centre back. And then he was like, I think I like you there. And I was like, nah, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm not really on that. Like, Allow it. Do you know what I mean? I don't really like heading the ball as, yeah, <laughs> as it yeah. was back then. So, and he was like, yeah, but you're big and like you're strong and quick. Like, I think it'll work. And I was like, yeah, but I'm top scorer. Like, I don't yeah. really want him. And then he went back up front and he put me back there. And then Greg Rioc come in. He obviously took over because Oggy went to the first team. Mm. So Greg Rioc and Richard Stevens like come in and then they were like to me, what are you? And I was like, at the point, I really didn't know what to say to him, but mm. I was like, yeah. Wing striker, and they were like, oh, okay. And then they were like, we, well, we, we got told you it was a centre back. Mm. And I was like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm not a centre back. But then they just played me there. Mm. And then it got to the point I was just like, oh, listen, just play me right back. At least I can yeah, still yeah. attack can a still bit more. Forward, yeah. Because centre back, I just got bored. Like, bored when I was yeah. there, yeah. yeah. It was just boring. Like, you know, like you're constantly, you're not really involved in the game. Like, I want to be involved mm. a lot in the game. Job in I said about, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, to be fair, I said it to the manager like, like last year and he was going to play me there like as the right of the three. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was just like, I'm not going to come in and smash people with headers, but mm. I'm good enough in the air to do it, like win the headers. Mm. But just like pace-wise, getting in mm. behind uh, on the ball and stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't mind it, but I think it's just as I'm getting older, do you know what I mean? You just, when you get older, right, you don't want to run as much, do you? Look like, at it like, different, <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything's like different. Like, you know how to look after your body a bit more. And I'm thinking mm. oh, I might prolong my career a bit if you play. Yeah. Centre half or something. So yeah, yeah. No, I don't mind centre half. Like it's just, but at the time it just wasn't right for me to yeah to play there. And then yeah, I end up playing right back. And then yeah, AD Boothwood gave me my my chance. And then yeah, where's AD now? England twenty ones. England twenty ones. Oh, yeah, good manager twenty ones. Yeah. So he's he's an, he's oh, an example no, of a guy I, like I yeah. remember because he, he got a bit of stick for um their showing at the last under twenty ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. I remember. Yeah, because it's him and I think I thought they were going to sack him. Lee, is it it's Lee good. Lee Carsey's part of it as well. Mm. So obviously Lee Carsey was a he was a captain at Cov when I was there as well. I think he's part of the twenty ones now. Yeah. Oh, he was captain of the first team. At the time. Yeah, he was captain on the eighty booth for it. Yeah. So yeah, like he's a good that's guy though. A, that's yeah. a that, that's a character. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, he was a proper proper good guy, man. Like, because he became a coach in the end as well. Mm. Obviously at Cov, but like as a young boy, like he was unbelievable with the young lads. Like he just literally like when he was a coach, he just literally like there's me, Callum, Jordan, Jordan Clark, like Connor. He'd just be like, listen, lads, come to mine. We'll go through your clips. Mm. Like, oh, serious? Yeah, he 
bring us to his house and that, and he'd just be like, yeah, like tea, dinner, whatever. He's like, I'm going through your clips is what you need to work on. He's like, and he'd give you a plan of what you need to do better. Wow. And he put on a session, so like, oh, tomorrow we're working on defending. This time we're working on crossing. Everything he was... As a player sweet. he was doing. Yeah. As, not as a player, like, but he... Because he, at the end of that, he was injured for that most of that. Oh, and so he come back as a coach. Doing yeah. time. Right, right, yeah, right. So then okay. he retired and come back as a coach. But when he was a coach, like, day off, he'd come in. Like, if you wanted to come in on your day off, he'd, no hesitation. See, that's the kind he'd of be pulling you in for you, like, on your day off. He's like, no, I'm coming in. And then he'd bring his son in with him as well, like... Do you know what I mean? He was just proper. Like, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the kind of love football. Yeah. You need people yeah. like that in football. Though. But that's what I think the issue is in football. is like you get to that first team stage and it's like whatever yeah, you've yeah. learned in the youth team it goes yeah. out the window just, because you about it. you're just thrust into the first team and then they think oh we don't know what to work on anything now. Mm. Like, we ain't got to do any extras and it was tough at the time because obviously it was only Andy Fawn the manager and then you had Steve Harrison as the coach. Yeah. And he couldn't like do the attackers and defenders because I think at the time Andy Fawn I don't think he even had the like, Proper no. license to coach mm. So he had the license to manage yeah. To be a manager I don't think you need too much But to put on the sessions He was still working on his badges So he wouldn't really do any of the sessions So it was it was tough Like, Do you find though um, On the back of what you're saying That Obviously you improve You know What you're supposed to The yeah. older you get or whatever Do you find that A lot of your improving And learning Actually comes from youth team And then once you get into the first team Yeah very little managers actually concentrate on improving yeah, as a yeah. player. It's yeah. more about can you do this job? Just, I just think with some of the players, it's just like it's, it's timing. Do you know what I mean? If you're mm. in the right place at the right time, like mm. you look at some of these teams, Chef U, for example. Some of their players are probably you probably maybe looked at them and thought, oh, yeah, they're good, but at the, the level they're at now, yeah, yeah. that's down to their, their coach, their manager. Yeah. They've mm. got into a system that fits them. So yeah, I think youth team you learn a lot, and then you go to the first team, and it's just yeah, like. Like you're saying, like some boys are straight off yeah. twelve o'clock, half twelve. Do you know what I mean? There's no, they're not putting on sessions to make you better. Mm. Like it's sessions to win. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think as young boys, like, I think now it's a lot better. Like because there's more coaches, there's more man, um, more coaches that they're bringing in. Like, obviously, they've mm. got the more more funds. But yeah, I think a lot of the lads now, I think they're so open to. You look at the stuff on YouTube, and there's so many one-on-one -on -one coaches now that you can mm. do your extras with. I think they're so open to more, to doing that kind of stuff more. They've got so many more avenues. So, yeah, definitely. It's just timing, I think, as well, being in the right place, right time, right mm. manager. Yeah. I think that's what it comes down to in the day. If you've got the right manager that likes you and there's a system that suits you and they're getting the best out of everyone, like, you can fly. Like, look at Wolves, for example. Like, for example do you know what I mean? You know. Some of them players have gone to different heights now. Yeah, yeah. it's true. And I think some people, like, I'm not trying to disrespect them, but you'd look at them and you'd think, you wouldn't have thought they would have got to them heights. Yeah. But they've done unbelievable while the managers come in and it's, they're in the perfect place and they know that and they've just yeah. gone from... Like so Cody, yeah. Cody's, strength strength, Cody's been there yeah. for a while now. Yeah. 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 Even, is it Doherty? Doc, 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 yeah, yeah. 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 So is he Island with him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Doc's yeah. is a good player, man. But like even, then, he, from like, like, even then, he's from just hit a different height now. Like, like, yeah, that's what I mean. He went down to League One with him. He's been there. He must have been there over 10 years now He doesn't look out of place. No, he doesn't. He's fitting in. He's He's a good player, man. Yeah. He's, he's funny as well But yeah He's yeah, he's a good player But like Even he's, he's gone to a different height now Like different mm. level Look at him prem He's scoring goals But he's just like I speak to him all the time He's like yeah I'm just in a place where it's worked. The formation suits me yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's like He said right, If I go back to a back four I don't know how I'd be But mm. he's like This just suits me Getting up and down On the wing back Like I'm yeah. getting in the box Scoring goals Like So yeah he just, That's what it is man. Just finding the right fit And yeah. manager what's, um, so. what's Scott Parker like? Yeah, no, he's good, man. Yeah, he's good, good guy. So he's been there and done it, hasn't he? Mm. Obviously, he's, he's obviously got the inexperience, but <clears throat> but obviously, he obviously need to he needs to gain that experience from being the manager. And he, I think he's coming and done well. And I think it's tougher. I was like, I don't think some people don't realize that, like, with a big big fish in that league. So yeah. mm. you're playing certain teams and the expectation. And yeah. yeah, and like people are thinking that we're just going to walk over these teams, and it's, mm. it's easier said than done when they start banking up. <laughs> and they got 11 men behind the ball and we're moving it side to side and we can't get yeah, through can't penetrate yeah yeah like it's, it's tough and but then you watch them one week and they're open against another team yeah but it's not the same for us because <laughs> they know that we can hurt them mm. but for them it's yeah that's like their cup final sometimes as well in that sense if, if you're putting it that way but yeah like obviously they turn up against us and they make it tough and some people don't realise that and even like I was speaking to I got a guy that does like some therapy and stuff and he was saying about from when you watch it from the side, people don't realise. They think it's loads of space. 
Mm. But when you're on the pitch, the gaps are time. tiny. Yeah, time. yeah, and the mm. time that you've got to do it, everything's going so quick. Mm. And you've got to respect the other players. They're quick as well. Like that gap might look big, but they can yeah, cover they that can ground, the ground within, quickly. within yeah. seconds. So, mm. yeah, no, it definitely is tough, obviously. But yeah, I think Scott is coming and he's done well. Like the way he's playing us and we've got different ways that we play. Do you know what I mean? We switch mm. it up. Like, obviously, I'm not going to give away tactics, but we you know we've got like different kind I of give tactics. Give them away, like, yeah. man. You, you, you love got this. You yeah, big no. Fish. So we've got like different <laughs> tactics for how obviously when there's different things and we mm. switch it up through the games. Do you know what I mean? So, so yeah, it's, it's, he's done well. He's done good and, you know, there's good stuff there and the, and the lads like him as well. And like mm. we said, he's not long out of playing, so he knows what he's like as a player. Like Does it make it easier to, not easier to like, hear or take on what he's saying, but the fact that you know He's been there, done yeah. That as well. like, I think you can just respect Recently him as a player as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's been good times player. when you're like, when you're younger, and there's people like you're talking, and they haven't really done anything in the game, mm. and they're telling you what to do. You're a bit like, mm. all right, yeah. what's your, yeah. what's your background? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but then you've got to realize everyone's got a different opinion. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm. Like, you haven't got to be a footballer to be a good manager. Sure. Do you know what I mean? So everyone knows if they know a certain amount of football, like they can see different things. And it's like when you, I, I say, if I'm on the sideline you become a manager. Do you know what I mean? You're like mm. looking at the game different, but it's different obviously when you're on the pitch. So I think it's just, yeah, respecting other people's opinions on the game because like I, I don't think, look at some of the top managers, they weren't great players, were they? Yeah. You know I mean? Like Mourinho and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I think with a manager at Fulham, like, I'd say it's hard transition coming from a player to a manager, especially mm. when you played with some of the lads. <laughs> yeah. because they were your friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. At one point, so yeah, pals, it? I guess it's hard then obviously trying to Disengaged from being their friend to now their manager. So, yeah, but like we said, we're doing well. Do you know what I mean? We're we're three points off. I think it's yeah, three or four points four off top. So yeah, so four off four. top and then three off second. So it's just annoying when you look back some of the the and results that we've had, like dropped, Reading and dropped, yeah. and Luton where we drew, and then Cholton we drew the other day. It's like we probably potentially could have been six, seven points clear. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Right, but yeah. it's all in hindsight, isn't it? So, but it's tough when you're playing playing these teams. What like was that Cholton game like? For, for you? To be fair, obviously, I've been playing up to that point and then obviously I didn't play that game. Um, but I come on like 20 minutes, but it was tough for us because mm. they literally got 11 men behind the ball <laughs> and they were def- every every block was coming off. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you're thinking, oh, ricochet, lands to you, nil-nil. Oh, no, no. Finish nil-nil, but like we're thinking, oh, we're going to score you. Yeah. Last mm. ditch block, come out of nowhere. But it's been cleared. Like, yeah. It doesn't land to no one. Like, yeah, some days yeah, you're yeah. thinking, just... it just lands at someone's feet and they just mm. poke it in. But yeah, it just didn't quite happen for us and but I think obviously at that time as well, it would have been, we didn't really have another option because Mitro was injured. So mm. it wasn't like we could sling crosses in or we had to find a different way to kind of beat them. Yeah, but yeah. we knew that we didn't move the ball quick enough. Like we had chances and opportunities and mm. we just didn't take them. But, you know, the game's come thick and fast. So it's not like we can, yeah, it's like we can dwell on it. Yeah. Three days or yeah, something. Like Saturday, Tuesday, no, Saturday. Yeah. Championship is Championship's like, intense, man. Yeah. When, when Bradley was on, he was saying that... Um, it's it's so it's such a long season. Yeah, like you're going and into games hard. not 100 percent fit. Like yeah. I don't think you ever go into a game mainly 100 percent fit. But yeah, some of these games you're going into like what 75, 80 yeah. percent. Like, do you know what I mean? Like the turnaround is quick. Like, cause Grueling, the, the second day after the game, you feel worse. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So yeah. your second day yeah. recovery, you don't feel like. So you get to the Monday and you're like feeling worse than you did on the Sunday. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Isn't it? And then you you know you've got to play the game tomorrow, so it's like on a Tuesday. So it's yeah, the recovery time, the turnaround is is crazy. Like. I don't understand that. Like, we ain't got a winter break either. Yeah. Like, the Prem got that. The prim, the prim they play less games. Yeah, 10 days a week. Yeah. week like, so, I don't know. Yeah, championships are relentless. That's, and I think that's where, you, like, obviously your squad comes into play then. Mm. Like, I think whoever's got the, a good squad depth, like, is what goes on to, to yeah. do well in that league. Because there's no way every player can play every minute, every game. What's, what's Scott Parker like with that, though? Is he like a driller? So in terms of like when you say about the systems and stuff, obviously he knows there's, was it 40, 46? Is it 40, 40, 46, 44, 48 44. games or something? 40, yeah, 44, 44 games, yeah. yeah. So obviously he's played at that level. Like you said, he's not too far off playing. Is he Is he like a, is he a proper driller or is he more of a thing where he just, he just has shape and then obviously he knows that, that obviously that the boys are hurting or whatever and, um, and changes it up or? No, he knows like, he does manage it quite well to be fair. Yeah. So like he knows when the lads are tired. And we just go through like shape, like it's like walk through. Do you walk know what I mean? It's not yeah. even like an intensity. Or say, for example, some lads will be in intensity, but he'll just be like, yeah, Knox, or for example, because he's come back from injuries. It's like, yeah, you know what? Just take it 60%. All like, right. Don't okay. go over yeah. too overboard. But yeah, but with the shape wise, we just, everything's just on our patterns. You know what I mean? Our attacking yeah. patterns and how we defend. Because obviously, certain teams are like 
counter attacking. So we just yeah. work on how shout, we lock them shout down. Shout counter attack. Yeah. 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 So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, yeah, how we lock other people down. And but yeah, we concentrate on our own game really. Like, but yeah. Like, like we said, it's just he has different methods for different teams where you think there's a weakness yeah, that we sure. can exploit. And sometimes it's it's worked and then sometimes it hasn't worked in the game because you know sometimes teams change it like mm. when they come yeah, and play sure. us. So then we've had to find a different way to to try and beat them. But we've got quality in our team to to do that. So yeah. And the goal from the beginning of the season was always literally, guys, yeah. we're going back up. We're going back yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. We're going back up. That was always the goal. Yeah. I think if you look at our team, it has to be. Mm. But it's, I think someone was saying, I think there's a mad stat like. Not many teams yeah, when they've I'll, come I'll, straight down, they've gone I'll, straight back up. I'll yeah, back to that. Like, I think it was so like three or four to, teams to in the last back. 10 years yeah. or something have done it. Like, I think it may be less. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's easier said than done. Does that play in your mind, though? Like, what do you think? Sure, like, I mean, teams yeah. Have this, you know? Yeah, I think it's just like, because you're on a downward spiral, aren't you? So, you mm. get relegated. Like, confidence is still low. Yeah. Like, you're trying to get back up. Whereas, like, when you're just on that rise, everything seems to just work, doesn't it? So, yeah. But it's just a, yeah. I don't think it's really played on our mind too much, but I think it plays on from the outset mm. from other people is on their mind. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And I think like obviously fans realize that as well. Do you know what I mean? And they obviously they can get on you quite a bit when it's it's not going way uh, our way, but it's yeah, it's just trying to be patient. Do you know what I mean? It's when so, you look at it in the grand scheme of things, you know, we're three points off and I still don't think we've we haven't had like many complete 90 minute performances. We mm. know that. But that's the championship. Like I think if you go past over the years, not many teams have a complete 90 minutes performance. Yeah. Like we look at Huddersfield the other day for 30 something minutes. We were unbelievable. Yeah. We're 3 0, and then all of a sudden it's 3 2 within within a matter of five minutes. Mm-hmm. And then we're hanging on. Like, like we just couldn't get back to, to playing that way. So sometimes you get caught up in playing that certain way and then we're not not mixing it up and being professional. Like you're trying to get back to that. But I think as professionals, you've got to realize that you're not going to get out of that rut a bit. Like, so mm-hmm. just put into Rose Ed or something, just yeah. switch up our game plan. But yeah, like we said, we showed resiliency and got through it. And it was, it was you know, like freeing it up. You're thinking it's a bit comfy here. Like yeah. everyone's thinking, yeah, this could go four, five, six. And then I don't know where it was, they scored. So yeah, mm-hmm. it is tough. What'd you call it? Who would you say, actually no, before I come to that actually, obviously at the beginning of the season, you were saying that you weren't really in the team yeah. as much. Do you know why that was, or and and how did it make you feel? Nah, I don't even know why it was. Like that's, he was just obviously he preferred the other Dennis and Stephen at the time, so obviously that was tough. Like, but I mean, what was it? I was in for a couple, and then obviously yeah, I was out of the squad for I don't know three months, maybe four months. I just started playing again in it must have been up in November, start of November maybe. Mm. I come on, come on and obviously set up a winner. So, and then kind of just from then I played, come off the bench like five, six times on the bounce. And then mm. I played like nine on the, started nine on the bounce. Yeah. So it's just, yeah, it was tough, like training on your own, obviously on the Saturday. And then, but like you're going in on a Friday and obviously he names a team on a Friday. It's just like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like I'm sweet. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I already know what my fate is, but like the Friday, it really hits home. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like you're not even going to be involved. Like, uh, you're not traveling. Like mm. you're in tomorrow. Report at nine o'clock to like just train with a fitness coach on your own. And it's like you're not even touching the football really. Like, yeah, there's no like realism to yeah. it. Yeah, and like you're just running on your own. But and it was just yeah, being patient. Mm. So it was just yeah, I knew that I could get back in the team. Do you know what I mean? But it was just at the time the manager just preferred them to. Like, yeah, he's got to make a choice as a manager. Like and I respect that. And, you know, if I was younger, maybe it'd been a bit different. Like mm. <coughs> you wouldn't know how to deal with it. Yeah, but. Yeah, I knew I had to deal with it. It was fine. I just kept myself patient, fit. Like, I knew I was fit and I knew I kept myself in shape. And I, I do loads of extras, you know? So, like, mm. I'm training on my own away from the okay. from the ground anyway just okay. to make myself better. So, I knew that it's just going to pay off at some point. So, okay. I just at least, managed at least to, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been easy that. to think. Yeah. I could have been gone in the summer. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Can't wait for January. Yeah. Let me go. Wait, can you not, outside of transfer window, loan? No. No, you can't. Not no, to the really, no, I think I'm pretty no, sure. Yeah, I see yeah no, so it was only, only it was not. only um, mm. after it was only, I think it was only, you conference can go to League yeah. One and League Two. They opened mm. it for longer for them, yeah. yeah. And then conference ones, one yeah, of the shots. They open yeah. longer, but yeah, championship, you can't, you so can't do so it. just they're stuck, man. Yeah. So mentality is everything in terms yeah. of that. So then, but you can obviously still move because some of the foreign windows are still open. Mm. Yeah. So obviously if you're going abroad, like, um, they stay open longer. 
So I think like it's like people go to China now, they can still go to China, do you know what yeah. I mean? Because it's not open until, I think it's open until end of Feb or something like that. So, sure, yeah, not sure anyone really wants to go there right now, but... Trust me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, on the pitch it's tough, though. like, yeah. I mean, it happened to me before, to be fair, at Derby, like, under Paul Clement, he just come in and just weren't having me at all. <laughs> like, out of nowhere, he didn't, like, he, he said that I'm fifth choice. <laughs> like, he put two centre-backs ahead of me at right-back, and I was like, but he was, like, contradicting himself because he was like, oh, yeah, I think you're our best right-back, but you're not playing yeah I just want to I want to play with him and I was like alright cool and then I had like somewhere lined up to go and he was like no you can't go there and I was like where he said oh it's abroad and I was like oh alright well, what's the issue we were going abroad and like oh nah um, and I was like yeah but they, they're playing the Champions League <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I said like come on you got to let me go like it's a good opportunity he was like nah um, I don't really want you to go anywhere Blah blah blah. But he wasn't playing you. He's like, I'm not playing you. He's like, oh, and you know, let's sit down and we'll discuss some teams that you can go to. <laughs> and then at the time, it was like, the, the agent though. The, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> and then at the time, the teams were the teams that he said to me that you can go to were like they were fighting like relegation in a in a. And I was like, listen, I'm not like no footballer wants to be in a relegation, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you want to be fighting for like promotion and and them kind of things there. So, like I said it to him like I didn't set I was a footballer to just go to like a relegation scrap like mm. I'm at a team where I want to fight for promotion and win stuff so and then yeah it just didn't play and then didn't let me go so the chairman said to me you're not going anywhere either yeah. and I was like alright fair enough the big man spoke so you know <laughs> there's not much I can do there so I just literally carried on working like carried on training I was training well and then it was obviously yeah he was mad at the time so he tried to make me come to Portsmouth to be fair and, he, and I was like Cause someone got injured first and I was like mm. oh yeah he was going to Portsmouth and he was like but he already told me like I'm not in the squad for the first two games like, yeah. like it's mad that he told me six days before I'm not in the squad for the next game like and I was like ah oh. and then two lads got injured and I was like listen like you've already told me but at the time my head was gone a bit because my nan was like really ill mm. she okay and yeah, yeah yeah she was fine she, okay. she's alright now so yeah like at the time they said like oh she's they only gave her a couple of days to live. So I was Oof. like, ah. So like, he's like, and I was like, listen, like, I'm not coming to Portsmouth. I know yeah, two yeah, lads got yeah, injured. Yeah. Point of traveling. Yeah, like my head was gone, like, a bit yeah. all over the place. And he was like, okay, um, yeah, I think you should come. And I was like, I'm not coming. Like, going to like, not a bit of an argument, but I was just like, I'm not coming. Like, I don't see the point. Mm. Like, you already told me. So, and I was like, obviously I've got this going on. I need to go back. I'd rather be with my family. And he was like, all right. Um, he's like, okay, well, if you change your mind, let me know. And he's like, we'll speak tomorrow, we'll speak tomorrow about it. And I was like, all right, cool, Gaffer, you said you were going to talk to me. He didn't like talk to me. So I pulled him, I just said, oh, listen, what's going on? And he's like, I want you to come to Portsmouth. Mm. And I was like, yeah, but am I going to play? Yeah. And he went, no, nah, you're not going to start. And I was like, am I going to be on the bench? He was like, nah. I was like, so what do you need to bring <laughs> me for then? What there for? And he went, well, oh, well, it's your choice in there. I said, well, it's not really my choice. Like, you're the manager. You're so making you tell me to yeah, come then. I have to come. I've got to come. But I said, like, I'd rather obviously go see my nan. Obviously, she's got, got a few days left to live. Yeah. And then obviously, I didn't travel in the end. And then I come on a game and I've done well. I think I set up a goal. Then I was out the squad again. Like, I was just like confused as to what was going on. And then I went away with Ireland and we played, we had the Euro qualifier. So, how long have you been playing for Ireland now? What, when was your first? 20, 20, 21, so it's five, six years now, yeah. And I scored, so yeah, I scored on my debut, so I scored on my Euro that's debut, that's yeah. Different class, eh? Yeah, that so must like, be amazing. yeah, it was mad. So obviously the manager coming, but I hadn't played, like, I'd only played like one or two games, like mm. off the bench or whatever, and then I started one, obviously with, with Derby, and then that's when I went away with them for the Euro qualifiers, and we played, obviously, like Gibraltar. I come in, that was my first start in the qualifier, and then I scored, mm. and then... And then I come back and then I actually played every game. For Derby started every game that month. Mm. Went to the next next month, went to Ireland, played against Germany. We beat Germany. Yeah. And like it was mad. I remember that game. Actually. Yeah, we yeah. won 1-0 and obviously like I done really well. And then obviously before they were telling me about my price tag and stuff. Mm. And then the chief exec was like, he's the one that was saying that I can go. Like, I don't want you. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And then he was like, oh yeah. Text my agent. He's like, that's... That's five million on his price tag. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It was just like that is confusing. Do you know what I mean? I just didn't understand what was going on. But then, yeah, I played. I played every game under Paul Clement. After that, like, like he was all right with me in the end. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like there was no, there was no animosity towards it. So I think but, you yeah. ended up going to um, was it Middlesbrough after that? Yeah. What happened there? It just they just came in for you. <sighs> that was yeah, yeah. Like well, obviously, I had the whole Paul Clement and Gary Rout coming after. Did he come in after Paul Clement? 
Who come in after? No, it won't even tell a lie. I don't want Gary Rowett. Um, okay, check now. No, it was um, Darren Wassell who took over. I won Young Player of the Year that year. So mm. after Clement, obviously that year, and we done well. We got to we lost in the semi-finals of the playoffs, mm. and then I think then um, Nigel Pearson come in that year, didn't he? Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. Nigel Pearson come in playing under him, and then McLaren they sacked him. McLaren come in. Then I got injured, like <laughs> so. I was out for thinking, and then Gary Rowett come in, and then when he come in, I was like, he was mad. I'd done my ankle. And then as I was about to leave, I'd come back and I'd been training all week. I was mm. in the squad. And as I've come to push up out my spot in the changing room, mm. my ankle went like locked. And I was like, oh. And I ended up snapping the bone in my ankle, just mm. coming out the thingy. But just it, getting up. Yeah, but it was like snapped off, but it was floating around in my ankle. So it was yeah. locking it up. So like, and I just carried on playing through it. And then by the time he come, I got an injection. And then I missed it when Gary Rowe come in. He'd like, it was his, he'd done his first week and he was like, listen, like, you haven't trained with me yet. Like, no tactical stuff. So I'm going to go with someone else. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't really play under him. And then, yeah, I was just in the summer, went away with Ireland, played well, done well. And then I come back and I was just like, yeah, I'm not really going to, I kind of sensed it. I wasn't really going to play under Gary Rowe. Mm -hmm. He brought someone else in. Um, he brought in another right back and he kind of said it to be fair. He was like, listen, like, I don't think you're going to be my first choice. Yeah. So it was just up to him then. And then I had a couple offers and then they were just taking a while and then middles were coming and were like, yeah, we want to get a deal done. And then it just kept, obviously, with deals, it's not as straightforward as people think. People Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, yeah, I've had deals where like, I'm on the one motorway and it got cancelled. Mm. Like, even with like other ones, it's like the deal was done. I'm on the way to the training ground to get it done. Our deal's off. Like, so I'm sitting outside, like, mad, I'm eating a Nando's. Like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to turn up at the training ground and be like, Peter on the wingy, do you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like sitting in, like, sitting outside Nando's in the car, like, eating a Nando's, like, with my agent and stuff, like, hoping, oh, yeah. Funny enough, so who's, yeah. who's yeah. ringing you and telling you that it's, oh, is it someone's calling your agent? Yeah, they're calling the agent to, like, um, calling my agent, the club, yeah. Like, when I was going to, from Coventry to Derby, it was like, yeah, that was just a mad process because Coventry were, like, moving the, moving the post all the time. Like, they were changing their own mind all the time. So I was on the way to meet like McLaren. Mm. And then my agent was like, yeah, deal's done. Like, come, like, drive up, <sighs> set off. I'm excited. He's like, our oh, deal's off. So I turned back around, I've gone home. Yeah. And he's like, all right, come again on the way. Wow. Changed again. So I'm like, so I just stayed in my car, like, yeah. driving up and down. And then he was like, no, nah, like, this time you definitely come. Deal is it's on, definitely on. Got there, met McLaren. <laughs> yeah, it was done and dusted. But no, nah, I'm good, man. But it changed like so many times. Like, the deal, like, but that commentary on it, I, I was, yeah, that was going on for ages because, like, they offered me, obviously, a new deal and stuff. And at the time, a lot of the young boys, had, everyone, like, like Callum Wilson signed a new deal. Mm -hmm. Like, Jordan Clark signed a new deal. Connor Thomas signed a new deal. Like, and I was the only young boy that didn't sign one. But it was, like, they didn't really understand my, my argument with it. It was, like, it's not the fact that it had nothing to do with the money or anything. It was just like, no one knew where the club was going. Yeah, like, yeah, we're playing yeah. at Northampton in front of yeah, a thousand yeah. fans or whatever it was. Mm. And I was like, my situation was different to theirs because I'd played 120 games at that point. Yeah. Mm. They've only played 20, 30 games. So like, I was saying, yeah, I understand why they've signed, but yeah, I'm in a different situation. Yeah. And then get yeah, a comment to like, like Stephen, the manager at the time, Stephen, he was like hammering me. Like, Is there animosity there to your coach? No, I've got no animosity. Like, I love the club. Do you know what I mean? Like, Did you get booed? No, no, no. Don't get booed. Like, they booed me when, obviously, because the manager put something out. Like, for me, it was like, okay, manager can talk. Like, mm. he put something out in the paper about how I turned down the contract, but that wasn't the case. I actually mm. hadn't turned down the contract. I said, I'll have a think about it. I said, but I need to, like, weigh everything up. And he come out and said that I've refused to sign a contract. Everyone else is. Mm. Like, we've offered him certain amount of this and that. Like, none of it was true. Mm. Like, and then he was making out I was being like a bad guy. Like, I love that. So then he dropped me from the, I didn't play. And I remember I turned up to, nah, tell a lie, I played that game. So we got to the stadium and I just remember people booing me. But and I was like, what, what am I getting booed for? for? Yeah. yeah. And then I went and checked my phone and obviously he's he's done an article. He's put it out in the paper. So I'm like, ah, oh. because I remember they were like, yeah, fuck off, Christy. Like, yeah. leave our club and all. I'm like, <laughs> like, all the lads are going, what have you done? Like, I didn't know anything. So then we played that game and I'm just remember he just, he obviously, a goal happened. I played the ball back to the keeper. The keeper went to kick it and he mm. kicked it over there. The guy chested it, volleyed it back in top bins. Mm. Somehow I got the blame. Blame, yeah. <laughs> blame me for it. So I'm like, Shocking pass. and then he like, yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> he subbed me. Like, so I'm getting subbed. I'm like, I just shook my head. I was like, I was obviously annoyed. Like, and then he was just like, I don't understand it. And then he's coming off and then he, 
come in my face, like pointing mm-hmm. in my face, effing I'm blinding, like, don't you shake your head at me and all this. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I'm not going to say nothing. He's just in my face. And then, obviously, like, it was stupid on my behalf. I was just young and naive, but he went to shake my hand, but I slapped it out his window. I said, nah, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just lost it. I was annoyed, but he's pointing in my face, like, and I just thought it was disrespectful. Wait, and then, hold on a bit. Oh, let's yeah. go back. So you kept your cool. Yeah, up until the point. Up until the point. Yeah, up until the just point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was just young and stupid from me. Like I just brushed his hand. And I was like, nah, like, don't talk to me like that. But yeah, I used to go watch Coventry. Like I'm an Arsenal fan as well. But yeah, 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 Coventry was. Okay, cool. I used to go to the Cough games all the time. But yeah, I just like it was just silly from me. Like and then, but I just had pure head yeah, loss. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because I just didn't emotion. understand. Yeah, and it was just like the emotions got the better of me. And then, like, in fairness, how did you shake someone's hand when you? When yeah, you, when, like, right, like, well, he was yeah, probably in my face, face, and I just didn't like the way that he dealt with it. Like mm. at the time, and then obviously, I walked down the tunnel. And then I, I ended up coming back out. Do you know what I mean? Like, my pride got the better of me a bit. And then I come back out, sat there. But then after the game, he's like saying that I disrespected him. But I was like, you disrespected me. Do you know what I mean? So it was like a bit of a loggerheads. And then... Next time it happens, just, yeah. just, just have a... Yeah. You might just fist, fist him up. Yeah, yeah. and it's just like... Uh, <laughs> Imagine him and Scott Parker. Yeah. Would. Nah, <laughs> nah. Nah. Why are you just scuffing over? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know Scott Parker. Yeah. Just, I'm seeing him on a pitch. He'll still. go for it. Hey. Who's the one that had... Um, Clark with the Canyon. Was it was it Clark? Leon Clark, yeah. Leon Clark, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Remember that one? Yeah, that one. That was yeah. But yeah, he just saying that I disrespected him. I was like, I think you disrespected me a bit, like. Yeah. But then at that time, it was just like everything. He was on me for anything. Like he cracked the joke in training. I didn't laugh, and then he was like looking at me for a reaction. So I'm just like staring at him. Do you know what I'm saying? He's just like he's like fucking smiling and show some energy. And I was like, why are you on me for no reason? Like. I'm just here to train, like, You're here to don't, do your job, just don't try me, yeah, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? And then, and then the man is he blamed me for something, like, said that it was crazy, the sports scientist actually was, it turned out it was him, but he told the manager that I was being negative on the bench, but mm. I didn't say nothing, I was sat next to Oggy, Oggy backed me, like, the other people, and they were like, nah, he didn't actually say nothing. And he just like, yeah, he like, started blaming me for everything, they were saying I was being negative, and then it was just like, all to do with this contract thing. Yeah. It was obviously he was trying to like that was his way of trying to try and make me sign, but yeah. you're going the wrong way about it. Like, yeah, completely. Like, you're, not, yeah. you're not showing me love. Why, yeah. why would I sign this? Like, yeah, <laughs> like not even like love, but just like just you're probably trying to like yeah. yeah, like hammer me and like you're putting stuff in the finger and like at the time I was just having to take on the chin from like the fans and that like, but they didn't understand what was going on behind the scenes. I actually mm. hadn't done nothing. Like, yeah, I was still going about it every day like training well, playing well, turning up for the team, and then he didn't play me, and then. They were like, and then he messaged me. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I think you've been one of our best players this season. Like, so I'm going to put you back in for the last couple of games. Yeah. Because obviously it was near like the, it was like <clears throat> floating above, like near relegation and stuff. So, like, it was just like crazy. Yeah, like, Kovla, I enjoyed it. Do you know what I mean? I won, I think I was one of the youngest players to get like 100 or something games there. Yeah. In a short space of time, I won six Young Player of the Year awards. Like, I won, it was obviously they do two a year. So, like, I won like three years on the bounce or whatever it was. I don't think anyone else had ever done that before. Mm. So it wasn't like I was, I'd done bad there, like I'd yeah. done well. And it was just behind the scenes, it was crazy. Like the stuff was going on. Like, yeah. There was no like sense of direction. Do you know what I mean? They're, mm. they're not putting any money into the team. Does that filter down to you guys? Like, you know what's yeah, going yeah. on? Yeah, or... the lads know that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And then you're like losing all the big players mm. and then no one's coming back in. I think that that year, like, like Leon Clark went, do you know what I mean? We were up at the top of the table. We, like two seasons on the bounce, we got hit with minus 10. Yeah. So we started on minus 10. We got minus 10, I think, before, when we got relegated or one of the seasons. And then we started the season with minus 10. Do you know what I mean? And, and then we started that season on fire as well. Like yeah. we was, if we hadn't had the minus 10, we would have been top. Like, we would have mm-hmm. been clear. Mm-hmm. And then we get to January, like, Callum Wilson got injured. Then you sell Leon Clark. Yeah. And then they don't bring no one in. There's no striker. And, like, the lads are looking around, like, surely something's got to come in. We're like, we can mm-hmm. get promoted here. Like, mm-hmm. We're playing yeah. well. And then everything just like went downhill and it was just, yeah, like obviously the chairman, I, I think she's obviously still there, but they weren't asked about that. Like, mm. this, they're trying to cut from cut funds, do you know what I mean? Save yeah. money. So it was it was crazy. But yeah, I think the fans realise that now. Mm. But obviously at the time, the way they were just portraying it, like how it was in the thing, it was just, nothing, none of that was even true. Like, some of the stuff that was said at the end of the season, not from me, like, from the fans or anything, the manager, what he said to my agent, like, I can't respect him for that. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I, as a manager, you respect them. Do you know what I mean? And I didn't really have anything bad to say about him after that. Mm. But then when he said that, the thing that he said to my agent, I was just like, nah, like, that just sums up your character. Yeah. 
And pff, yeah, nah, I couldn't I couldn't play for someone like that again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You mentioned um you support Arsenal. Yeah. Did you play in that five one game though? Yeah. I got hammered. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? Like, yeah. 5 1. And Ramsey scored that flick. Yeah. That flick yeah, goal. that goals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was it like under them? Did you look at them and think, oh, this Arsenal is, is a changed Arsenal? That game, it was. Only for them to yeah, actually show just, that, that they're still false prophets. Yeah, they just turned up. Like, that game, <laughs> like. False prophets. Like, it was crazy. I was like, I said I got hammered that game. Like, yeah. I think Shira hammered me on match of the day. Like, but. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Shira was like, on me on match of the day. You know what I mean? But it was, yeah. Obviously, it's his opinion, but. It was crazy because no one knew the role that I was actually playing that game. Mm. So obviously a lot of the ball was going down the channel, but that wasn't actually, it had nothing to do with me because I was playing as a, um, I was basically playing in the front three. Mm. So the manager was like, oh, we're obviously playing like this formation, but mm. you need to be playing in the front three. The left back is your man. Yeah. Or the center half of your pressing, that's your man. And then, yeah, it obviously just looked like it was because it was going down that side. Yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, they were, they were, they were mad that game. The way they were moving, popping around, especially that goal. It's yeah, just like, man, there's nothing you can do about that. Like, yeah, that's gonna they're gonna score that against anyone. Like, but yeah, I just mean, they don't can do it enough, man. Yeah, they don't they're looking do good though under um, yeah. Arteta. Looking, looking all right. Yeah, obviously they right. got. He's obviously trying to change the way, and he so mm. that will take time. But yeah. I think it's just the same as any team. Yeah, but that's the problem, isn't it? Now in football, it's just there's so much demand to win now. now isn't it? If you're not it's producing immediate. now, then you know your your job's on the line. Like mm. you're under pressure. So yeah, that's why I even look at. Um, Liverpool, like they kept with him. They allowed yeah. him to do what, yeah. he, what he wanted to do. Yeah. As in Klopp. And then now yeah, look at him. Look at yeah. where he is now. Mm. Yeah. When you played against him last year, could you tell that, oh no, this, they're going to be a problem in another season? Or when yeah. you just kind of you thinking, this is like, Liverpool. Oh, to be fair, we actually done well against Liverpool. Like, I, I thought that. The performances yeah. you lot, you lot played like, quite We played them obviously away at Anfield. Yeah. And we were hard, like we got hard done by it because Mitro scored. Mm. And nothing, it was. It should have been a goal. It should have been a goal. You know, if VAR was around that, it would have been a goal. But... Obviously, we thought it was a goal, but then the ref obviously blew and said, whatever. Allison just flings the ball down, zings one yeah, over to gone Salah. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember yeah. that one, actually, yeah. It's crazy. Like, Salah's he's strong. Like, mm. That guy's a beast, man. Oh, yeah? Even, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's strong. What, as, you strong, know what? You physically him, strong. Like, you'd think yeah. Mane was the, 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 yeah. the strong... Strong one, yeah. But then again, who no, was it? Salah just bounces off people. Though. Yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't get him off the ball, bro. Who was it? He scored a goal the other week. And when he took off his top, who was that? Yeah, no, was, it, was it Tottenham? Yeah, he's in mad yeah. nick. He's nick, like he's in good nick, man. Yeah, and literally, <laughs> yeah, the he's person come nick. up against yeah. him. Was it Tottenham? Tottenham, who nah. did he play? And he took off and his he top. Took off his top. I know who you're on about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And whoever was trying to stop him could just couldn't. Like, we didn't couldn't believe it. Like some of our lads, like, they're strong. Mm. You know what I mean? And they were going in trying to barge him, and he just weren't moving. Yeah, like, he was pinning them and everything. He was like, I can't believe it. Yeah, but the way they press off the ball, like the whole thing they do. Mm. Do you feel that pressure? Do you feel? Because yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. you know, when you play against high pressing teams, yeah. you, you you can see everyone's working hard yeah. and they're working hard to get the ball back. Yeah. But Liverpool, it looks like if they're they don't get the first well. ball, the second ball, they get so they, they get the first. They keep going. Yeah. Like sometimes, like you break down the press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. For example, Man no City, apple. but then Man City go back into shape to go again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Liverpool are just boom, boom, boom. They keep going. Like, yeah, there's no getting back. So you could feel there's pressure there. It's so mad how you say that. You know, you know that little things like that. Like you just said. With Man City, they go back into shape. Yeah, yeah. they reset. Like a yeah. normal person watching that wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But then you look at Liverpool, and it's just totally yeah. different styles. Yeah, it's intense, bro. Just like you look at like Robertson, for example. You've seen that one where he runs and then he runs, chases the keeper and then he chases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like any other team, no one's really doing that because mm. it's like, all right, cool, they've got out. Yeah, let's get, get back, back and then, yeah, yeah. Like we're the same. Like, we kind of do that as well sometimes. Mm. Like if we're getting popped around like against the big, yeah, like, just get back into shape, like, and then go mm. again. Oh, yeah, Liverpool are relentless. Like I played against them when we was at Derby as well, and it was the same. Yeah, like you just feel like you can't breathe. Like you're taking your touch and someone's on you straight away. Like, yeah, you just got to move it like so quick. You're getting no time on the ball. Like yeah, they they were tough. Like you could see they were always going to do well. Mm. Yeah, like Klopp. Like even like you just look at him as a manager. Do you know what I mean? Mm. He, he, knows like he just knows what he's doing. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, he seems like he he's a good guy. Too. Yeah, do you know what see, I mean? This I think what, that's half the battle. But like, this is what I'm yeah. trying to say. This is what I'm talking about the manager thing yeah. at the start because. If you get a manager who's got the right balance, yeah, because you see, well, obviously, no one's in. I'm not in a dressing room, but yeah. you can see there's certain players, there's certain times, he, his instructions yeah. are he's, he's he's throwing out people, yeah, 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 but you can see with other players, like for example, when the Mane and Salah thing happened there, yeah, when yeah. Salah went passing to my guy Mane, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you could see and he, he handled that, med. yeah, and <laughs> he he was barred because to be fair though, the shoes on the other foot, Mane slotting him in all the time, yeah, yeah. right, but. 
you could see the way the clock handled that. You could see there's yeah. there's there's emotional intelligence there. There's yeah. there's there's more than just a manager. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some manager, ah, oh, forget about it, just get on with it. No, it, it fucking matters, bro. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It, it does matter. Like you got one, you got two people going for the golden boot, yeah? and you got one guy who's yeah. give, who's doing everything for the team. You got another guy doing everything for himself. It's mad. Yeah, yeah, no, that. Yeah, you can just see they all play for each other as well. Yeah, mm. like I think you can see it from the outset when you see certain teams they're not playing for each other. It's yeah. Just, how can I stand yeah. out? I, I need yeah. them to yeah. lose, though, you know. Like, yeah, I'm to coming lose. to terms where I, I come to lie. terms that <laughs> no, they won the league. Win the league. They won the league. I've, I've yeah, come yeah, to terms. They can't, yeah. But I need them to lose that game. I can't see them losing. Huh? Do you know what I'm saying? I, I need them to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Arsenal unbeaten yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. It's all we have now. And if, and if they <laughs> yeah. do it the way they're doing it, it'll be a joke. Yeah. I've said to someone already, yeah. When I've done some analysis on their game, yeah. And with Liverpool, the problem that everyone's got in the world at the moment, that there isn't actually a team set up that can beat them in every department. Yeah. So you need to be almost perfect. The way I look at it, you need to be almost perfect defensively. You need to match them for, for the, running, the effort and yeah. the running oh, in midfield. Yeah. And you need to be clinical as anything up yeah. front. Look at um, Wolves. Wolves, are the, Wolves is yeah. who I thought were the nearest to doing no, it. But, Do you know why? Because Wolves are, Wolves have seems, I don't know what it is about Spirito Santo, yeah, but tactically he seems like he's just, just on, that he's just on a level. Yeah, he's just mad. Mad, because no one's really seen that before, the mm. way they play. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They've got the three and then they've got the wing backs, but you got the, f they're basically playing with three strikers. It's a free striker. I mean, it's like, mad, isn't it? two inside. It's crazy, bro. Like, and then when you got Adama Troa as well, like, just, just an out obviously I played with him as well, but. Oh, at Middlesbrough. Yeah, Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough yeah. yeah. He takes so many people out of the game. Yeah. Because he's is so he, quick okay. and strong. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. We'll come back to that. At Middlesbrough, because my thing with um, with Trory, no, no, I think now the penny's kind of dropped, dropped with him a bit. End product. You but say, sorry. end product. And yeah. how frustrating is he to play with? Because there's times where, for me, he'd be a much better player if he realised he doesn't always have to run at people and take five, yeah, six yeah. men out of the game. I understand and that. There's yeah. times where he could just pop it off to someone and, yeah, you know, yeah. or whatever. I don't know, I think... No, nah, it's go frustrating. On, go on. Let me let me, yeah. let me let It's mad frustrating let me because who, when it comes off, it's, it's yeah. cool. But then there are times where you just need to be like, look, mate. And this is as we're seeing him now. Imagine yeah. him at, yeah, no, at, at Middlesbrough. When he was raw. Do you get what I'm saying? Raw, like, yeah. he, might, he must frustrate. Yeah, but then yeah, it comes yeah. off. And it weren't coming off as it was coming off for Wolves now. Yeah. yeah. So, but you know what? Like, you got to give it to him. Like, he works so hard. Mm. Like, he's one of the workers, like, hardest working people I've seen. Like, like this guy's got, I'm saying he's doing three, four sessions a day. Oh, seriously? Like, oh. he's training. He's going home training. Then he's coming back to training. Mm. Then he's going back and training again at home. Like he's got per he had a personal trainer living with him. Like, <laughs> like for when he's going in his garden doing mechanics, like running mechanics. Oh, sure. Then he's doing ball work. Yeah, like he's doing everything to like to make himself the bit. Like he he'll if you if like I used to sit next to him in the changing room, I'd speak to him. He's like, yeah, I want to be the best. But you could just see like he's got that in him to like do it. Yeah. Mm. But like you said, like maybe popping off sometimes, like switching up his game. Yeah. But because I was I used to say it to him in middle school, like sometimes. Just, Pop it off, like no mm. one's gonna. I can't. You can't. I can't catch you. Yeah. I can't tackle you. You're too strong. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I go to tackle you. I hurt myself because yeah, you're, you're just made of concrete. Like, <laughs> but no one can live it's with that you. Like, I put off of it, but if you like, actually like, if he sets it and spins, like, that's yeah, he's gone. I, I'm done. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a nightmare. Like, look at mm. Robertson. He, he couldn't deal with him. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Not many are doing that to Robertson. Like in the Premier League, mm. you can't really remember too many people like affecting his game going forward. Yeah, yeah I know. Like, Robertson couldn't really do. Yeah, like. He's like the thing. But the guy don't lift no. He don't lift no weights. That's what I was saying. I no, heard, like I heard he don't lift four. weights. He don't lift like, no he's weights. Like, like. He's like he's like the thing. You know, the, um, in Fantastic Four. Yeah. Just the thing, just made of just stone. Yeah. Like, yeah. He don't lift no weights. Like I just obviously at middle right. Like you know, like you know he's quick. Yeah. I didn't realize how quick he was. Quick he actually all. is. Because like we used to do a thing on the Gary Monk where you had to do like your maximal sprint, like build up to it. No, I'm. I had the second highest speed there, so I'm thinking I'm quick. It weren't far off his. Like, yeah. So I'm thinking, like, Dharma, come like this. Like, run properly, please. Like, yeah. Because I've never seen him run like full okay. sprint. But I was going for it, like, and this guy jogged past me. Joke is serious. It was demoralizing. Yeah, I was actually <laughs> hurt. Like, I was like, I'm not even quick no more. <laughs> See where the man beats yeah. you for pace, yeah. That's it. And you and That's you think worst, you're kind yeah. of in the race as yeah. well. <laughs> no, like he jogged, and and the worst thing was he left. Like, that's, <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, he he was laughing like, and he was like, "I'm I'm only at seventy five percent," and oh. I was like, "Yeah, I told you to run like flat out." Full belt. He still he was like, "No, I'm not doing it." But you can see that man. He's I don't really like the, the, the phrase I'm going to use, but he is literally pace and power. Like you are not matching him for for speed for either yeah. of those two things, and you're not matching him for power. Mm, yeah. Robertson had a bad day, and yeah. like you said, I've never seen. 
But that's because anyone like, do that to him. He's nervous about what Adama's going to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. Robinson goes forward. Like, yeah, he yeah. instills yeah. that fear in you, innit? Because Robinson, yeah. he doesn't mind leaving the space yeah. because yeah. he knows. But he knows that because yeah. Adama was so quick, like, he, mm. he couldn't really. Adama I'm affected you, his game, like, the do you Wolves, know what I mean? Yeah. Wolves is the, they tactically have been yeah. the closest, bro. No, yeah. it's not even. Listen, if they were Tell clinical, yeah, yeah, and that because they were the one that if they were yeah. clinical, they and, were the one. and a little yeah. bit of luck as well. Because Liverpool, always, I don't know why yeah. they seem to seem to get every VR decision that seems to go for them, whether yeah. they're going to score, whether they're going to get a pen, yeah. whether they're going to get on this allowed or whatever. But you can just see there is no team like I'm talking across the leagues. Yeah. I've, I've looked at this thing across mm. the whole, and I'm looking at it and thinking, like, Wolves have got players mm. that can make it happen, like you said, with like. Jimenez and yeah, yeah. Jota, I like him as a lot. You yeah, know? and then you got Adama like mm. leading up to before that goal. Do you know what I mean? Like he come out in the second half and like he wasn't having a great yeah, second half. He like went, he, mm. he gave the ball away, didn't he? And then like he went to I volley one there, and yeah. he sliced it back in. Mm. I thought they were gonna and drag then boom out of nowhere. He's, mm. he's ran the pitch, cross goal. Like and then all of a sudden he was just he was throwing everyone off him. Mm. Like just yeah, he's just got that in. And him, he's man. so deceptive. There's times where yeah. I see him hands on knees. He's tired out of it. Yeah, but you gotta think like if you're Get running at that pace, you're sprinting. No, but then constantly. yeah, he gets the ball. Yeah, and he does boom again. Yeah, he but then sometimes he gets to the point like I played. Obviously, when I played with him, he couldn't do it. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. he's so like Knack. that's taking energy out of you. Yeah. It's like Abu for us. Like I'm like to him, bro, just knock it and run. He's like Abu the, Abu Kamara. Like, oh, he's, quick, like, he's a good player, man. Yeah, yeah. But like, the oh, velocity they're running yeah. at that takes it out. You're of thinking you can't, you can't yeah, do that. They can't always do it. Yeah, time. like that's when like you see him on his knees. Like I'm thinking, yeah, if I'm running, like I think they done a thing with like out, um, with Adama when he was at Middlesbrough. If he'd ran the his quickest time, they put it compared it to the when Bolt broke the record, he would have come fourth in that race. Shut up. Oh, really? Yeah. You are joking? Yeah. Like, you know how fast then people must be if he's coming fourth. Like he he, bro, you know he thinks that no, no, no. He thinks Turn it on his head Do you know how fast He must be on the pitch bro? No, yeah. true. <laughs> But he said like There was a guy I think Middlesbrough fan he was a, He's a, got a world record holder For like 60 metres Or was the, he did have anyway And he offered the Dharma out For a race mm. And the Dharma was like I'll beat you Like confidently as well But like, yeah. this guy's quick like, Do you know what I mean Like 60 metre record holder I was like no nah, You ain't beating me And don't forget as well like, Grass, he was on grass it, is heavier you know, bro. But when I knew The Dharma was quick Like with Monk We used to obviously Have to be on the pitch Like at a certain time so you come out in the middle of the training ground, there's a big hill. Yeah. And then obviously you've got the whole pitch and then the warm-up area. Mm. And then he had 10 seconds. He was at the end of the pitch. He cleared it and Together. he got there as eight. It was the quickest thing I've ever seen. The guy had timed it as well. It was eight point something. Mm. He got there with a second to spare. Madness. Basically. He covered it. And that's without a warm-up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah. You never, but like, the, if he ran into your, like, the way he was running, like, you know, yeah. if you stood in the way of that, like, you're... You're breaking bones or something like. Mm. He's, yeah, he's, but he's good, man. Like he's, he's done well. Someone will, I think, a big team will take him as well. Yeah, I hope. I hope. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I saying this on the pod, like, but I think it has to be the right big team. Like, I, you know I was what about mean? to yeah. say that I, I can't. I don't think he'd go to. A, I can't think he'd fit in a Man City. No, nah. and and that's what I said. He, he's yeah. not, I don't think he's, he's yeah. polished enough for for, yeah. for a City. Everything with City is very. You need him yeah. to be the out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You need a team that can just pin him wide and just. I think he'd do well in Liverpool, you know. Yeah, because the way they play, yeah, yeah he would he'd be do well frightening there. a little bit. Yeah. It'd be frightening. I and mean, he's only young as well. Is he 23? Yeah. 24? Young man. Like, you wouldn't even think it. Like, yeah. Crazy. Like, he's a nice guy as well. Like, mm. He's humble, man. Like, he's one of the nicest guys you'll meet in football. Like, mm. Who's the... Yeah. Um, do you still talk, talk to him now? Or? Who, Adama? Yeah. Only, like, every now and then. Yeah. Speak to him every now and then, not, like, massively, yeah. Okay, I was, was, was going to try to get him on the pod. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> But um, yeah, no. who would you say like the best player you've come up against is? Because obviously you were in the prem, so would it be a prem player? Yeah, Hazard. Hazard was tough. I'm not happy about that one, man. Why? <laughs> I'm just not a Hazard fan, you know. Yeah, I'd, no, I'd, I'd, I rate guy, his ability. You can't get a ball off him. <sighs> They're not as he, our listeners are just. He's just got that thing where it's just like. Moment. His ass is massive as well. Do you know what I mean? So you like run in there. He just sticks his ass there and it's like you can't get to it. And he, yeah. he just knows how to tease you into a tackle. He knocks you off. Yeah. yeah. So like he's so strong as well. Like, and he's just low center of gravity. Like mm. you get tight to him and then you think you're going to nick the ball and he just puts his foot there. Yeah. Foul. And then like, but he's got that one way he shields the ball and you don't know which way he's going. Mm. Like, and then he turns and just rolls you. Yeah. And then he's gone. Like, but yeah, Hazard was tough. Um, Okay, let's, let's, let's pretend you didn't say Hazard. Yeah, Martial was tough when I played against him years ago. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was doing all right against him and then he, he megged me <laughs> before half time and then I heard Mourinho like, just keep getting at him. I was like, no. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. That's the worst. You, know, you hear that, him. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just like, I've done all right against him and then he just literally left me for dead. Like, 
on one of the things, and I was just like, yeah, this guy's he's quick really, as well, isn't yeah, it? yeah, he's, he's quick, and sharp. It's them five yards, like when they're mm. quick like that, like, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to think who else. Royce was good, like when I played against him. Like we beat them, so it was who? Royce, Marco, Marco Royce. Royce yeah. Oh, Royce. Yeah. Okay. Um, I rate him. I think, yeah. I, I think he's so. Some injuries that he had. Yeah, man. Was, yeah. Seriously. Have you seen? Um, you still watch a lot of football, though, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sugar. Remind me to come back to that. You were saying Shearer got at you. Yeah. Match of the day. <laughs> were you watching match day, or did you know that? I mean, or did people send it to you saying, "Oh, I didn't watch it. I knew because I knew." I knew I was having a... Oh, you already a, knew? That. I knew, yeah. 5-1, <laughs> like, I'm not watching the highlights. Yeah. I watched up to that point, but yeah, I did, you know I went, you know what I seen it on is, um, I, someone messaged me about it, actually. One of my mates messaged me, telling me. And then, yeah. And then I was like, oh, so I went on like, online and I seen it. Like, obviously what he had said and that, yeah. So I then I actually ended up watching it just to yeah. see what he said. Like, it didn't phase me too much. I'm not really too bothered about then. Like Martin O'Neill backed me, to be fair, as well. Like Martin O'Neill, I think, had a little go at him as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was his his opinion. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So he obviously that's what he he saw the game. So like I said, it's always I think you have to listen to some people's opinion. Do you know mm. what I mean? Just because it's a learning curve, they might see something that you don't see, and yeah. someone else. Do you know what I mean? So they're seeing it through through a different view. So yeah, like, like but he got at me. Do you know what I mean? Like you, yeah, that's the last thing you want is like going on match of the day and you're getting singled <laughs> out. Like it's it's not nice. But yeah, imagine that watching it with, with the family. Yeah, <laughs> just, oh, yeah just watch but it. like yeah, and bro, I, was, I weren't watching. I weren't watching some of it. But yeah. If I had a bad game, like obviously we had a bad game that game, but yeah, there's no way, there's no way I'd really want to watch it. Yeah. Mm. But obviously, with um, no disrespect, but obviously yeah. you got relegated last year. Yeah. Wait, did you find that you just weren't watching a lot of match of the day? <laughs> <laughs> like you know what, to be fair, I was. I would watch it still. Like yeah, I would watch it. Like just to see. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like. Obviously, most of the time, like the games we were involved in, we weren't really getting much airtime anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, we were like at the end. Do you know what mm. I mean? So it weren't, it weren't like they was really going at us. But yeah, I'd still watch it because obviously, it's good to watch. You know what I mean? Just yeah, to, to see. But yeah, like I watch a lot of. My, I always watch the games back on on my on my clips anyway on my laptop and stuff mm. because it's like you can see a lot more. Like you know. It's, I think sometimes I think if you sent your clips to like fans and stuff like yeah. say they've been hammering you, you'd actually realize you you weren't as bad as you thought. You yeah. yeah, when yeah. you like dissect it all and they watch it back, like you realize you actually done some good stuff. Yeah, and then like you have realized that you have done some bad. Like every footballer knows when they've done something bad. Do you know what I mean? But then it's like <clears throat> overthinking it. Like oh yeah, I was crap today. Like I was really bad. But then when you go back and watch it, oh you know what? Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Mm. Like you're seeing it from a different perspective. So do you have a bite when they when they get you on Twitter? <laughs> nah, not really. I'd, you know, what I did when I was younger. <laughs> I used to, yeah. Not really, not anymore. Like, do you know, what? I just wasted energy. Shut like, up, yeah, like, it's just like, do you know, what? I don't mind if like someone says, "Oh, yeah, you were crap at this," or mm. but it's like there's no substance to what they're saying. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. It's like, oh yeah, you're shit. All right, cool. Well, yeah, what does that mean? Uh, what, why? Yeah, yeah. Why? And then they're just like, and they're hammering you like it's get personal. Like yeah. Yeah. that's the ones that I, is a bit weird. Like it's like you're hammering me personally. Like I can't be affecting your life that much yeah. for you to to get personal. Like if you said to me, oh yeah, you know what, your crossing was crap today. Mm. Right, fair enough. There's a detail like, there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, something there I can work with. But when there's nothing there to work with, I'm just like, what's wrong with you? It's like, Jealousy. but then you you always realize it's the same people. Yeah. So what? Like I don't. You have to realize is that like it's just a minority. Mm. Like is what I've come to learn is that you end up recognizing it's the same people, but like with negativity, it's like it's mm. such a big thing in it. Everyone wants to be negative. Like mm. no one wants to give no one no love. Like mm. they don't want to be positive, but you always seem to pick up on the negative things. Yeah, it always you seems can to get out hundred yeah. positive and then yeah, three it always seems to outweigh the positive. Yeah. Like so, yeah, like just half the time I just block some of these people, which yeah. is annoying me because I'm just I know that I'm gonna respond, but yeah. I can't respond because I'm gonna get in trouble. So I just think, you know what, let me... Yo, I don't really go on Twitter that much, to be fair. Like, mm. Twitter, I stay off it because that's... It's just... You that's, you can't control nothing on Yeah. There. So the only way I can control it is if I block someone or mm. I can't be able to even go on there. Like, I turn my notifications off, so... Yeah. I can only see tweets from people that... So I don't even see half of these things anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, Instagram's different. Like, I don't mind Instagram. Yeah. Like, you can control what you... What goes on there really? But Instagram people aren't as bad as Twitter people. I know. I, I yeah. noticed that. I, I, I tweeted that yeah. today. Like it's wild. Yeah. Some of the things Twitter that people wild, on Twitter wild, 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 wild. come and say. Like, yeah. Twitter's funny till it comes on you. Like do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I see a lot of stuff and I'm laughing. But you know, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm 
been in this it's situation. Wild, yeah. some of the things you yeah. see on, on, on yeah, Twitter. Like Twitter, but Twitter got this whole thing of freedom of speech, and they like mm. the f- const- some they come under the American law, don't they? Of freedom of speech and that. It's crazy, but they need to kind of change some of their stuff on there because it's, it's not good. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, mm. Like something they just think they can get away with. It. Like they hide behind profiles. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I've had so many cases on there, like the racism and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's just, it's just mad. But then when you speak to them, they're like, oh well. But who do, who do you speak to? So let's say you're getting racist. So the club, and- they've got contact at like Twitter and Facebook. Like mm. it comes under the Facebook, Instagram comes under Facebook. One of them anyway. Yeah, so they've got a contact. Yeah, 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 so they've got like a contact at one of them. So they just speak to them, and then they come through to the HQ. The police will have a connect with all. Mm. Yeah, but do you find that it doesn't really do anything though? But I didn't know there was like a whole yeah. They, they're useless man They yeah. don't do nothing like, I've had so many things And it's like Nothing gets done So it's like I can understand why people Don't pursue things mm. Because there's no You know that it's not Nothing's gonna happen Like It was just clear in daylight Some of the stuff like, I had one guy send me Four black people Hanging from a tree Like And you're next Like Saying they're gonna kill me mad. And his picture and name's there But Oh we're, We need to find Do you know how mad that is? Yeah Mad it, Do you think people would be surprised If one day he just said Look, here are all the... I'm just going to show you what this, I get. Do you know, yeah. this is, if I if I actually was to put out everything that I got, like, yeah. people would be surprised. Because like you you say the odd thing like every now and then, do you know what I mean? Like I'll bring up the odd one. And people are like, oh, well... They're like, oh, rise above it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I'll rise above it. Like Change your profile. Oh, why are, you, why are you saying stuff? Like, why are you giving them airtime? The one is, that's the biggest one. It's like, oh, why are you giving them the airtime? Yeah. Like, for it. Well, I'm trying to like put it out there, like this is what goes on. But like, yeah. I had a thing like, like people don't even know, like they obviously saying all this stuff. But like, I had a thing where it was like 15 posts on Instagram. The minimum I had, like five comments minimum, were racist on there. Like 15 posts straight. Yeah. Like that's dude, like what I'm posting once a week on average. Mm. So, Do you know what I mean? Wow, so that's a couple months. That's like, ridiculous. Yeah, but they don't see that. They don't know that. But yeah. Then when I come out and say, "Oh, why are you crying for? Like, why are you saying this?" Yeah. Like, like, you can just understand why players just don't bother. Like, mm. And then they don't understand as well because they're not in that position. Yeah. And it's like, not, and those yeah. people aren't coming at them. Yeah. So it's just different. Yeah. So, like, they won't ever understand. Like, mm. you know, I had the whole thing, like, with the a guy done a petition to have me lynched. Like, really? You know what I mean? And Love his that. name was there as well. And they done, <laughs> they done nothing Seriously? about it. Yeah. Like, and I sat there for like two hours, like, trying to explain to them, like, and they were like, oh, well, we don't understand how this could happen. I don't think people are that racist. I was like, what, on like, on like, what those, was it like change.org or one of those things where you just, back, oh, no, you so just it send happened it, after, send, happened after oh, week. what, on Twitter? It happened on Twitter, yeah. So he started the, the thing, like, so he he put it on the thing. So we played, um, we played Denmark in the World Cup playoff final. So obviously we've gone into the game, we went one nil up. Yeah. And then they had a corner, the guy shot, hit the post, and obviously. Oh, yeah, and oh, it's hit me. Like this own yeah, goal. yeah. And it hit me, and it went in. Obviously, like, but at the time, I didn't even know I scored an own goal. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know. I didn't know until after the game, till it come up on the thing saying own goal. Like, yeah. I just thought it already gone in. Like, yeah. when it hit the post, like, and obviously everyone's like, you shouldn't have moved from the post. But obviously, the whole thing is like, if the ball goes onto the other side, yeah, you move across. Yeah, you move across. That's the way yeah, it goes. Block the ball. But like, <laughs> yeah. then obviously, I've not got enough time, and and the kind of like the bounce done me a bit. Do you know what I mean? Mm. As well, like, I probably could have gone and just. Like ran and cleared it, but obviously yeah. the bounce dummy hit the post, and then obviously it hit my trailing leg, and it obviously went in. Yeah, but it was after that game, like I just got so many like racist, racist tweets, but I didn't actually know about it. Yeah, until um James McLean actually brought it up, and then like I, my mates were saying stuff on the thingy, but after the game, my emotions were high. Do you know what I mean? I didn't really mm. talk to no one, so I weren't really taking no notice. And then he brought it up, and then and then it just blew up from there. Like obviously everyone was messaging me about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, like I've got all the stuff on my phone. Like My mates had sent it me already, but I just hadn't taken any notice. That's Did you actually get, so this obviously got circulated. Yeah. yeah. So the guys put a petition like, yeah. on Twitter. Got to circulated. Say, they were like, oh, we're fuck gonna off get, back to Jamaica. We're like, going to get Christy lynched. Yeah. Like, or to lynch him after yeah. X amount of, and yeah. people are obviously, what, well, people are responding. People are retweeting it. And then like, yeah, I'm up for it. Like, let's get it started. Do you know what I'm saying? You're joking. Like, they were on it, but like, leading up to that though, like, like that's what people didn't realize. Like obviously they come out and they were like, "This is the thing." Oh, you you're only saying it because we lost out of a game. And I'm like, "No, I'm not saying that." But like leading up to that, like for three months, yeah. like every game I had, I was getting racial abuse. Wow. So and I'm like, but I didn't say nothing about that. Yeah. But then obviously someone else has mentioned it, and now yeah. people are and now people like, take yeah. a bit of notice now. So it's like, oh, you well, this, this is your excuse. Like, it always has to be an excuse for why why some why happened. we've said the race. So this yeah. is this is obviously someone. This is like an Irish fan. Yeah, it was an Irish fan. Effectively. Yeah, I think that said it, but like, 
It's like they're trying to say is, oh, well, we can't distinguish if they are Irish fans or if we're, say, I don't know, if there was a Coventry fan or whatever they could have been, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Any yeah. kind of fan, but... It's basically a waste of time even trying to pursue Yeah. Like, yeah. you know the, the odds aren't in our favour. Mm. There's no way, like, unless it's like, like, like the whole thing with Raheem Sterling, you see the guy on the TV called him it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they the, threw the, out the, the case. Chelsea fan. They oh, no. threw no, out that. Like, and it was clear. They said, oh, because we couldn't hear it. Yeah. Like, well, everyone else can see, like, what he said, but yeah. So you, you know, like, you're, it's, a, it's a struggle to even, like, get that far, like, mm. to say that. And then, obviously, Chelsea ended up banning it anyway, which was good from them. Like, they'd done their own, their own thing. So, yeah, it's, it's tough, like, with that. But I can just see why, like, no one mentions it. Because... Mm. You just get so much backlash from it. It's just yeah, crazy. It's, it just yeah. makes it, imagine. Yeah, you, you're the victim or something. Yeah, but then it makes your life harder. It makes your life harder. Yeah, it's mad, yeah. Right? yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. no. It's, it's, but yeah, yeah it's um, crazy. Fulham. Before we like wrap up and and get out of here. So you're in. Is it third or fourth now? Yeah. Is it third or fourth? Third. One third. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. You think you're gonna do it? Are you going for automatic or? Yeah, everyone wants automatics. Yeah, just get, just get, playoffs. Playoffs. get, just get it done. Playoffs are lottery, do you know what I mean? Oh, playoffs is the worst. And then obviously it's an extra month as well. Mm. So like, yeah, like automatics was what we set out to start. <coughs> set are out to start here. Yeah. Like, like we feel we can do it, do you know what I mean? So. Like we've got some tough games coming up and we know if like, if we win them games, like it's, it's on, mm. do you know what I mean? But then again, Obviously, we can't. We can only concentrate on ourselves. We can't rely yeah. on Leeds to lose, or West Brom to lose, or Brentford to lose. Mm. Whoever's going to be up there, do you know what I mean? Brentford so, surprised me this season. They're man. good. Man. They're doing all right, man. I they're, think they're, that's the toughest team we've played. Yeah, no, they, they really far. surprised me. Yeah. Brentford's always tough to play. It's a local away. derby, for you. yeah. But when you play them away, it's always tough. Like it's, they got the same kind of ground as us. Do you know yeah, what I mean? like a bit smaller. Like, fans are on you, but yeah, they're like. Pff, Tough. Every time I go to their ground, it's tough. Yeah. Any team that I've been there with, like, yeah, yeah really they always play. What they play good football. They play good yeah, football yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. That De Silva guy. Yeah. Yeah. Benarama. Yeah. Oh, Benarama. He's good. Man. Madness. Their front three is madness. Yeah. madness. Yeah. Yeah. Watkins. I don't even know. How you say the other guy's name. On um, the right. Only Watkins. He wasn't even supposed to be their main striker this year, isn't it? Yeah. He's a winger, really. Wasn't yeah. He? Yeah. But then they play him up front. Yeah. Just kept, kept scoring. Yeah. Like he's, yeah. They're good, man. Yeah, man. No, no. Benarama though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's good, his man. feet and yeah. oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. I do like the silver. silver I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Yeah, they lie. got him for free as well. The silver, mm. no? Yeah, is that the one? Was he at Arsenal for free? Yeah, yeah. 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 I saw him do. Um, I was watching him them against QPR earlier in the season. And if you ever saw this nutmeg you did, yeah, don't want you flicked it up. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> a few Arsenal players seems to go that way as well. Yeah, seem to. Yeah, oh, he's, he's, a, nah, he's good. He's a good player, man. No, nah, he's he's good, man. But yeah. as well, I just want to see what Leeds do, man. Like, yeah. honestly, if Leeds go another season somehow don't get promoted, I don't know what's... I was talking to Spence, and Spence was saying how the problem Leeds have, I don't know how true this is, is that, and you can maybe confirm this, if you stay in the game, they fade latter latter stages of, of a match. I don't know how true that is. I don't that's know, what, that's what Spence you know what, Spence like, We played the them and they team. fit. Mm. Like, but they... Maybe I can see why they might fade towards the end of the season because they are so like they turn it into a basketball game. Mm. It's relentless. End to end, like, it? it's yeah. relentless yeah. Keeper catches it, boom, they're on a the break. Like mm. the way, like obviously we watched the clips before, like we knew they were gonna be a danger, like for that. But then like they sprint back, like they get back in shape, like mm. get bodies behind back behind the ball, then they go again. Like they keep going. So maybe that might be a reason, but I don't know. Yeah. Like you said, fade in matches. Yeah, like the latter stages, latter stages of matches. Then yeah, like the yeah. teams when they fade out. Like way they, so, like the way they run, like they, so they cover some distance, like yeah, at high intensity as well, and that, that can take it out of you. But but you said Brentford are the um, hardest team you've you come yeah against. this season. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. That game, like I think they, I think they could have beat us like by about the way we played bad. Mm. So I don't know if that's the case of we played bad that game and it yeah. made them look better, but boy, they was they was at it. Yeah, <laughs> that man. game. Like they was, yeah. Who's the most dangerous striker you come up against in the championship? Dangerous striker for the championship. I bet you just happy you don't have to deal with Mitrovic because he's on your team. Yeah. <laughs> Which was, he's a problem. Yeah, he's a problem. A, I would hate to play. I think I'd fight him. He'd, he'd get in my head so easily. He's so strong, man. He'd get in my head so easily. Yeah, like, I'm you just know, he, like, I'm surprised he stayed there. You obviously know he's not with a pace to run him behind, but mm. the way he can just pin you and, like, roll yeah. you and then. You know he's gonna score. Yeah, like, man. He can just score out of nowhere. He's a finisher. 
if he rolls me and then yeah. it and, I, and I see him doing that, brother, I have to, <laughs> <laughs> I have to just, yeah. just get him. No, he, he's a beast, man. Like, do what he like does. Like, but obviously, if he's running with people, like he can just throw them off anyway. Do you know mm. what I mean? So it's like he just he's a problem. He's so good for us because he's an outlet. Yeah, like, yeah. The way he can just pin two or three people and then just still chest it down and kill it dead and then yeah and then pass it on to someone. It's it's mad. Like, but yeah, toughest striker this year. He played against Low. Was he no, I wasn't. Even, I was in. I wasn't even in the squad then. Oh, yeah, I went around them times, but yeah. Um, I like. I'd say. Lot, I'd say Watkins is. Oh really? Yeah, I have to give it to him. Like he causes us problems, like, mm. and he's deceptively strong as well. Like oh, he was really? pinning, he can run in behind. Mm. He's got the. He's got the lot. Like, do you know what I mean? He can finish. Work right. Great. Yeah, he can take people on. <laughs> Like, yeah, he was he was good, man. He's the one that stood out, like anyway. Yeah, from what I can really, Any really players remember. You look at and you think, nah, you're gonna play Prem. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's like there's a few, man. You just, yeah, there's loads of them, like, especially some of the boys they've got known from like the Prem teams as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I said, like there's yeah, like, you can see like Ben Arama and I gotta go Prem. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Fair. Even like Huddersfield the other day, like, like Emil Rose Smith, the boy from Arsenal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, good. yeah. Like Grant yeah. as well. He's, he's like, good, he was good. good like, oh, uh, Carlos shouldn't be in there, man. Yeah. Like, he was a good player, man. He was he was good for them. Yeah. He there's, be there. some good players in the champ. I think Carlos yeah. Grant's going to go back to Premier League. Yeah. yeah. And Emil Smith. I think he'll, Emil he'll Smith. go back. I was, I was up yeah. there the other week and I saw him at the training ground. Yeah. And, um, did, um, did Ezzy go to? Crystal Palace in the end. No. Well, no, nah, he played. Well, QPR, he's, he's good as well. Yeah, 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 he's a good player. Because um, I know on transfer deadline day, QPR came in they for said him. They, I mean, not QPR, no, Crystal, Crystal Palace. Palace. Did they, yeah? Crystal oh, yeah. Palace came in for him. And, um, I remember seeing it on Sky Sports. I don't know if, if they were playing. Well, he played, I'm sure, yesterday. Yeah, he's a problem. He's yeah, good. He's a good player. I saw him against was it Hull earlier in the season. Yeah. That playground, sir. Yeah. That was the first game I'd ever seen. From. I did. That's what they—they they, they got that attitude. Like they have, don't it? care. Yeah, they just yeah. go for it. Like you say in the playground. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's playground. Yeah, yeah. No, he was good, man. He's a good player. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, no. There's some good. There's some good players in the champ. But yeah, man. Yeah. Just All the best. Yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. Fingers you, crossed, man. You know, you get yeah. there. Hopefully, yeah. Well, it's nice. The best. Yeah. Um, hopefully, good. come back again when you're in the prem. Yeah. Um, you, you guys will do it, man. Yeah. You'll do it. Just who's above you? What's Brom in it? West Brom and Leeds, yeah. Leeds, yeah. yeah. I mean, Leeds, Leeds at all. Leeds have yeah. been flying out for a while. Yeah. So. Oh, it's just so crazy because anyone, you anyone look at it, take it anyone, anyone can just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone can take it. Anyone. Yeah. But even people outside of the, yeah. all you need is that one I mean, run. Well, think, well there's enough games, got, isn't it? Yeah, we got promoted. Yeah. I think it was like 18th, 17th until like December. Yeah. And yeah. December, January yeah. just flew and just kicked on. And then we ended up third. Like, That's what I'm saying. Only a couple points off winning. Even teams like New Wall were like eighth or something. They're not like I think from like eleventh to twelfth can still yeah they're only like three points off the playoffs or something like that yeah I mean, it's but tight no one's running away with it that's for sure no, what, what, what are yeah, they playing to... yeah it's crazy so I mean anyone can beat anyone best you atmosphere never in not. Champions League in Championship so Champions League huh? who's got the best atmosphere in Championship you reckon best atmosphere <sighs> what I don't know you know got a bit of asp- asp- just a toss up where you might go and the attendance and even like, yeah. that, that one game and then that's what I mean like but it's something like sometimes you like I said like Millwall had a mad like the yeah. atmosphere was crazy and they sold it out mm. but then you go sometimes and it's yeah. they got half that attendance obviously Leeds is always always a good atmosphere I'd say they got a good one yeah I you enjoy like, playing against Derby you don't get booed there though do you no yeah I get booed there you get booed yeah. at Derby yeah <laughs> yeah booed at Derby why are they booing you though it happened like, It's a bit of a mad story So like <clears throat> We had like a, a Falling out It was like The year I was leaving Yeah So So it was like We went away on the I was away on the international break And then I had to do like a press conference But at the time My uncle I just you know, Had to take him to the hospice So mm-hmm. he was dying of cancer mm-hmm. So obviously he was like Obviously a famous boxer So he obviously... Oh, Errol. Yeah, mm, so people yeah. picked up on that, that I'd gone to the hospital. So when I was doing the interview, they just kept asking me about this and that. And then the last question of the thing was, oh, so, you know, you haven't really played that much at Derby. So I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, explain that. I was like, I was in LA training on my own. I've come here. And then we obviously played, we were playing Mexico. And then um, I was like, yeah, like, obviously we're routed. Like I said, obviously the, his style of play isn't really suiting mine. Like, and that's what he said. Do you know what I mean? He wants a fullback that's just going to sit and blah, blah, blah. 
And I said, obviously, I'm attacking. That's what I've made my career on. Like, mm. And I said, obviously, I can adapt to how he wants to play, but I can't really take away from how I am as a player because mm. at the end of the day, that's what's got me here. Mm. And I said, so obviously, yeah, I've got to like, learn. And I said, yeah, I just haven't. I've only played a certain amount and da da da. Um, so yeah, I said like, and I said, I'm, I said, obviously I've done well last year. I said, I got in like team of the year. I said, so I, I was one of the best right backs in the in the league. I said, mm. there's a few of us fighting to be the best right back in this league. I was on about like Ryan Fredericks at the time. And there was a couple of us. So I said, we were all like fighting to be the best right back. I said, that's what you got to aim for. And then done the thing. And the next minute, like my Twitter's like blowing up. Like, I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah. So a guy in Derby, the does a Derby Telegraph was like, He's put out a story saying Christy claims he's the best right back in the league. <laughs> and I've not even said that. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he's run away with the story. Like, he's not even there. Do you know mm. what I mean? He's just, whatever. He's made up the stuff. So they're all like, oh, who do you think you are? Arrogant. They're like hammering me. Like, and I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. This is a bit uncalled for. Like, so they just carried on. So I'm like, left it for like a day or two. I've not really said nothing. Still carried on. Yeah. Like, it just carried on going. So I was like, nah, like, I'm not having this. Like, so I just put out like a statement, like, oh, like, I'm sorry for having some self confidence in myself. Like, um, great apology. I said, like, yeah, I was, it was obviously a bit sarcastic, <laughs> yeah. but like, I was like, it's great to see that my own fans are backing me. Like, yeah, um, uh, yeah, because <laughs> obviously they wouldn't have said like, oh, like, so like, yeah, I apologize for that and blah blah blah. And I was like, the whole interview, I said, you've all brushed over the positives and yeah. just pulled out a negative from yeah. nowhere. I said that at the end of the day, that guy wasn't even there, which so, you didn't even say. Yeah, and I didn't even say that. So I said, like, if you lot want to read the interview properly with the people that are actually there, then, like, carry on or whatever. And then that just made it worse. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. carried on and they just, like, started hammering. And then, so, like, then my agent was like, deactivate your Twitter. So I deactivated it. Was it that bad? Yeah, it was blowing up, man. They were going mad. And he was just, like, just for sake, like, in case you say something stupid again. Yeah. Like, just don't don't bother. And then... I see what you Yeah, because obviously I was, like, the whole thing was about my uncle, like, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't, like... It was, and then, like, to be fair to the Irish media, like, guys out there, they were like, he didn't even say that, like. They were mm. backing me. And then I was just like, oh, cool, whatever. And then we played Uruguay. Um, so we played Mexico, then we played Uruguay, and I scored against Uruguay. So mm. I was like, I reactivated my Twitter, do you know what I mean? Just to <laughs> see, like, it was kind of like a bit of a comeback, do you know what I mean? But then, mm. like, yeah, they, then nothing happened. And then, it like, obviously I went to Middlesbrough, and then it got brought back up again. And we played Derby, and they were just booing me. Like, yeah. And then a journalist then, who was meant to be at this press conference, was mm. ill, Brought up the article six months later. So Derby fans, keep our name out your mouth, like hammering me. And I was like, I didn't actually even say nothing this time. Like, nothing's happened, but he just brought up an old article. Yeah, well. And I said it's the exact same thing. And then from then, like the Derby fans just, yeah, they were on me, like, but it weren't like I got no animosity towards them. Like, yeah. They wouldn't they can boo me, but like, yeah. No animosity like towards I, anyone. Like I said, yeah, it was just keeping yeah, the options. They booed me. So yeah. I imagine they'll probably boo me again this year when we play on, but it's, it's all fun of games, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. it's part and parcel of the on football so yeah we'll see how it goes alright man well yeah. love for coming no, no worries yeah, nice one thanks for love. having me um, you lot listening hashtag counterattack podcast as always um, we're going to put everyone's socials up there but um, yeah man just let us know as always what you think all that good stuff like I said we've got some people coming on for you guys this year man so this is like the first time I think we're close to 100th episode I think so. This is 97, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I should have saved you for 100. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Milestone. Yeah. In fact, let's, let's not do any more episodes until he gets prim. <laughs> <laughs> then we do 100. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, guys, we're out. Cheers. Nice one. Oh!